I had to bring Patrice O'Neill down. Yes. He hasn't been on enough to even understand where the studio is. I had to introduce Patrice to the, the you, you yeah. guys. I love how there's no, no sense of urgency around here. Steve just nah. lumbering around when we really need a clip immediately. He's, he's hanging yes. with Patrice. Yes. What could he possibly be yes. doing with you instead of doing what he needs to do with uh, for, for the show right now? He was, I, I'll, I'll vouch for him. Yeah, what he was, was he doing? He was peeing. Oh, really? Seeing Shawshank oh, Redemption. So what is this? Like, stand do, you up and this? This? do you want a DVD, the story of seaweed from the Smithsonian <laughs> oh, Channel? God. See, that's, that's, that's too inside, but we inside. will bring it to the show Steve now. Steve hands fucking A&E biography shit to us. It's like, hey, stupid, I have cable. Get me something I can't get. Every day. Fucking, you mentioned Rampage, that movie last, yeah, yesterday? Yeah, or yeah. What, is it called Rampage? Yeah. All of a sudden, he goes, you want a copy? Show me a copy. You want I, to no, copy? I don't want a copy. Exactly. What do you go to the <laughs> Fucking three ninety nine bin at fucking Virgin asshole. I think he's Stop the last. Handing me A and E shit. He's the last guy at Blockbuster. Well, here's what happened. If you, Wait a minute. If, he offered you Rampage. He offers yeah, but, that Rampage. one might be a good one. But okay, I'm saying, maybe that's a bad example. Isn't but. that a good move to uh, do? One time, he, that well, was a bad example. Fuck, yeah. I wish I could remember all the stuff he's offered. Dude, it, here's it's what embarrassing. It is. The channels that like oh, want Steve, us bring in all the DVDs we said no to. He's got to have them down the it, hall. It's, and bring Rampage by the horse because yeah, I've seen it in my mind because I Wikipedia'd it, by the way. Yeah. I've seen the whole movie it's a good one. on paper. What? But I want to see it actually. Well, it's a good what? one, man. What? Rampage. 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 And he did get me a Black Sabbath biography on A&E, which Rampage. I started biography. watching. It was tremendous. Now, some of those things are fine. like, But but he'll come up to us with, like I said, the Bring story the of seaweed. And, and you're like, because these channels want us to talk about them. So there are popular shows like... Um, uh, what are some of the fucking popular? Do you shows want to see there? this new series, Horses of the Adirondacks? Yes, yeah, there no, you go. Like we no, don't. Like Mythbusters. <laughs> well, Mythbusters is cool, but like, yeah, a lot of that kind of stuff, like you know, like two episodes of American Pickers. You know, yeah, which yeah, it's yeah, not yeah, like yeah, yeah. you know. We're, but you, you guys I, are not good for the self-esteem. It's just <laughs> you know what? <laughs> fuck the, that. the one thing I learned from the great Vince McMahon when I wrote on the WWE is. He never made you feel like a complete asshole. Really? So it's like... Well, that's his problem. It's like yeah. you're we fucking like with self-esteem. It's like, here, guys, I thought of you, and it's like, go, you know no. what I mean? Stick this up my ass oh, yeah. really? and call you a faggot. All right, like, wait. Like, <laughs> like, he'll come up, he'll come right. up with Deadliest Catch. Thank you. Hold on, hold on. A here. show that's popular, Deadliest Catch. Right. So he'll come up with like a DVD of that, and you'll be like, all right, but then there's 20 DVDs Well, that's what I'm trying, trying to get at. You. Sam is running down the hall because he's the biggest prick. You guys, this is... You know, let me tell you something. Wait, no, Sam, get on mic and and and, and sell as these an, things. As an outsider, you, this is Operation Valkyrie against Steve. <laughs> oh, yeah? Wait till you hear what he offered us, and then let's see if you have the same opinion. All right. All right go ahead, go. Sam. This well, is some of the stuff that, Sam, uh, that Steve has actually offered us. The new uh, Pierce Brosnan film, The Greatest. Oh, let me see that. All right. I do want to see that. What is that one? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> there it goes. <laughs> Season one of Spike TV's The Deadliest Warrior. <laughs> what is that? I never heard of it. it, it wait, I'll tell you what it is. All it's right. very interesting. This I was looking for. It is who the warriors of different times and different histories uh -huh. different versus histories. each other. Like a Mongolian horse rider right. versus a ninja. Okay. And who would win? And that they would break it terrible. down. They break it down on who would like win. And armor yes, and, and, and who would like win? Yeah. But here's what Steve does, which drives me nuts. He'll bring you guys. He'll <laughs> offer you guys from his shows like Deadliest Catch, and he'll he'll try to sell them. He'll go, Hey, look, this is Ice Road Truckers. He's gonna talk about the time that Phil had a flat. <laughs> <laughs> and no one gets his shit. <laughs> uh, right. Rock is trying to get someone's attention here. Most recently, before the show, he offered you this series called uh, Life Without People. Right. And it wasn't even the start of the series. It was like season three. And you yeah. just looked at him and did your, no, right in no! his face. No, I've seen them. Exactly. It's about this fucking building. <laughs> <laughs> I was actually too able to make out like a bandit recently. Yeah. Uh, some of the perks of the job, I now own Funny Farm on Blu-ray. <laughs> oh shit. What is that? Funny Farm. Little Chevy Chase. Chevy Chase. Chevy Chase is funny. Oh, shit. Farm. There are some movies that don't need to be converted to Blu-ray. <laughs> no. Um, That's it. Alright, let's go. What else did, has you offered? Converted to CD. Media, media only, of course. Yeah, it's in the sure. white envelope. It's Python Hunters. Ah. You want to check out Python Hunters. Well. And self-explanatory. You don't need to... Uh, that sounds good. How hard no, are they to catch? Doesn't. You know what? It sounds, might, 
<laughs> Sounds good. Who as you're, hunts I, a python? You, you, you stumble upon them. <laughs> Patrice, it might, it might sound good, but here's the deal. If I'm going through the channels, I'd be like, oh, python, what is that? And I might put it on. I don't need to have it on right. DVD. We, we want, like, Iron Man 2 offered to us. Like, oh, stuff. Good well, shit. Maybe an avatar. Not enough yeah. to not oh, go poor right, Go ahead, Sam. Here's I, a Blu-ray that he offered us. Well, it's not just... Is that fair for me to say? Well, I'm, I'm not fair. here enough yeah, to go poor Sam, Steve. Sam, go ahead. You, you so said okay. a Blu-ray. Oh, I'm not here enough not to go poor Sam. Sam. He said a Blu-ray, which is not accurate. This is it's what I did last night. <laughs> Blu-ray. <laughs> it's a combo pack. A yeah. Blu-ray DVD digital copy of the Scott Adkins, Michael Shannon Jenkins film, Undisputed 3, Redemption. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Patrice is just like, yeah. Patrice is getting a lot of good stuff. Today. Look, do you want this disc? It's all of the commercials they show before online clips now. <laughs> <laughs> there are four hours of them. <laughs> all right. Here, here's another one that was actually offered to us. That was the one I brought in yesterday. As, as mentioned in yesterday's Terry Oh, it wasn't Curry even interview, Rampage. It was the it was movie yeah. oh, okay. that nobody oh. saw. Russell, uh, Gerard Butler's <laughs> gamer. Oh, gamer. gamer. That was but my nickname when it? they thought my name was Murr. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, this is a nice. This really is a nice pounding. Uh, <laughs> oh, shit. Go ahead. Fuck it. Let's uh, let's not forget. Do you guys like skateboarding? Because if you do, I've got the thing for you. What do you, you have for it? Life of Ryan. It's the uh, complete series, the MTV reality show uh, about Ryan, a young skateboarder. Stop. You Patrice. like wrestling Holy a lot. Holy shit. <laughs> no, I know. I like That's that. not far away. A Somebody in here could love a little skateboarder. There's a Ryan. reality show about a little fucking punky, wool-headed kid. Ryan Sheckler. He's just 17 Who's years old. Right? I remember him. I haven't seen him in many years. My mother told me he died. <laughs> <laughs> it is perfect. <laughs> she always loves him more. Uh, <laughs> oh, that's good. Kevin from Connecticut. I have the first season of Cop Rock. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I knew it would be season two uh, or something. And for the record, record. <laughs> I took home the Blu-ray of Ice Road Truckers. Oh, you did? Yeah. Right. How, was, How was, it? was it? It was good. I loved that show. That's actually not a bad show. I loved that show. Well, all right, so what? You slip, one. you slide, you yeah. drop, yeah. Yeah. Just yeah. Just you go and die. I, a and E's, those things make my stomach turn. I'm just, really, I don't want to hear about how you died getting my lobster. Just fucking <laughs> get me I'm my over, lobster. Yeah, I don't want to go to the supermarket and pray every time <laughs> I, wanna, I get fucking sea bass. Somebody fucking lost a leg <laughs> <laughs> for my shrimp. <laughs> Fuck you, motherfucker. The dangers of delivering my pizza. Uh, <laughs> my, my favorite thing about Sam watching Blu-rays is that he has a standard definition television. <laughs> Oh, shit. He watches his Blu-rays on and then tries to tell me that they look better than oh, regular TV. Sam has a cathode ray tube. They look, a little, they look a little better. Do you want it. a flat screen? I would like one. Yeah. You don't have a flat screen? No, no, no. They're $7 too, you know. now. You can, yeah, really. They really are cheap. You can get them with... You I got up a bank account. You can get them with uh, that five bubble, that five chewing gum. They can be a flat screen so you can chew, chew sell them gum and watch yeah. the television. They sell them as an impulse buy by the registers. <laughs> I got my TV from Eric Nagel. Yeah, the Nagel really? the Nagel Tron. Na Nagel -tron. Oh. And, they Tron. and they sell a Mexican that'll put it on your wall too. <laughs> <laughs> how many inches? Uh how many inches was it? Nagel Tron three thousand. I think it's thirty six. Is that Ooh, wide? Wow. That fucking <laughs> thing is so deep. A you, did, have you gotten, inch have you gotten a thirty have you gotten a three D television yet? Nah. I ain't, I ain't, not ready I ain't, yet. I ain't going for that you shit. Get, you gotta wait a generation. I'm not in for that shit. shit. Yeah. The, uh, how, how much does your T V weigh? I mean, over 100 pounds, easy. Jesus. The oh. screen also is kind of rounded. It's like a 3D TV. You can no. carry them under your arm now. TVs. That's because of the way the fucking ray has to be shot at the oh. front of the at the phosphorus on the front of your tube. It makes the it has to have a consistent good. distance, so it can't be flat, or else from the uh, fulcrum point right. you would get a longer oh. distance than from oh, the okay. center sure. of the uh, the screen. That is why these screens oh, were always fuck. curved. Where you mean a ray that goes back and forth real fast? We mean we're always cursed. See, shit. get a new television, oh. you fuck. How I got the PS3. Let me ask you, how long did it, besides the fact that Open and I are looking at each other and we both want to strangle you <laughs> yeah. for knowing that? Yeah, it's, it's embarrassing. You're, you're, 
I don't know. You're making, us feel, you're making us feel really <laughs> We know stupid. you're right. We don't even question it. How long did it take to go to flat screen? Everything is flat screen. Like, every bar. Like, yeah, like, yeah, yeah, I know. Yeah. Like that, that was the technology for fucking 50 years, and in, like, three years, it's gone. I know it's gone, except... In fucking Sam's house, but yeah, on. yeah, and it's just, it's just a practical. It's just a practical, so. practical so. uh, thing. It had to happen, but it's like you know, so eight fast. tracks was replaced mm. by here's, cassettes. Here's I swear to God, I thought cassettes were this one went fast. Right. Yeah, we thought forever. You think mini cassettes? But I, but DVDs is on, are on the verge of fucking being corny now. With, with just electronic media, that you just you just get electronic media now over the internet. You don't need a physical disc anymore. Can I be? Can I be a um a young white girl for a second? Is is um we gotta throw all those things away. Where are these fucking? Are they shooting them to the sun? Where are all the old televisions? <laughs> they shooting them to the and sun. And the fucking yeah. old radios and old shit. In where in landfills? Where the fuck are? There are no more tube televisions. No tubes. There, there's and now uh, I guess you got a choice between LS. Not LSD, LCD, LSD, yeah. LSD, LCD, and LED, and fucking yeah. uh, what's the other one? The, and the they really don't pump out plasma. plasmas anymore. What? Oh, plasma's done. Yeah, they, they, you can lose pixelation. LCD, LED. I got a plasma like in my a house. Yeah. My plasma's amazing though. I have one for five years. Uh, people, it's amazing. People like them when they have them, but you 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 don't go and buy a plasma. Anymore. Is that picture on an LCD or really LCD? better? Yeah. They, they're amazing. Jimmy, I saw the new the new LED, like the, the Samsung LED, LED. Yeah. They're so super thin, and they look so good. Like, I thought my TV was awesome for a while, and then I had to finally mm -hmm. concede and be like, My you, Pioneer Elite really is better. fucking plasma is amazing. The the shit. Oh. By the way, here's where our televisions and all of our electronics end up, and I'm not even shitting you. Somehow, they end up in giant mountainous heaps in South America and Africa, oh. where young children will pick the fucking silver solder and I gold and shit, and then give them to the fucking head muckety muck so they can make money, and the little kids go home with their little chewed up fingers with a piece of beef jerky. Oh. That's all right, so they don't go to waste. <laughs> yeah, at least yeah. something. At least someone's you something know, making out. Happening. <laughs> That's uh, just that little flies on their little chewed up fingertips all night long, oh, just eating. Let's go guys, to back to fucking oh, TV gold. Oh, oh, TV gold. <laughs> back to Sam. What else has been offered, Sam, by Steve? Well, we spoke of A and E Terrible. just a minute ago. <laughs> yes, we did. You only think you know them, the Jacksons, a family dynasty. Wasn't that a reality show that was supposed to be happening? It is a reality show. Yeah, we have it on DVD. Is it still on? I guess it is. It's a terrible show. No one watches yeah. it. I guess. Of course it is. Show. No, it's about it's, Randy and his family. <laughs> <laughs> it's A and E's number one show. It happened right after Michael died. Yeah. It's their number one show. Really? Did you watch? Mm -hmm. I wouldn't know. No, they. This, this, it looks awful. Yeah, they all got plastic surgery and shit. They're uncomfortable to watch. And and finally, finally. I, and I think this, this one's is only perfect a, a for little you, yeah. for you guys, especially Anthony. You may want to yeah, take well. this home. Yes. Gene Simmons Family Jewels, oh. the best of seasons one and two. Ah. If you want to, is it is it empty? <laughs> Even, even Jimmy's not that taking that. Here, I don't need Jimmy's that a huge garbage. Kiss fan, and he's not even looking at it. I have it already. Mm. Oh. That fake <laughs> fucking scripted reality, which is worse it's than reality. It's called assisted reality. reality. <laughs> assisted reality? Because scripted sounds bad, so they came up with assisted yeah. reality, which means fake a tea, Lee. To be honest, not one of these things <laughs> was good. I'm, I really wanted to yeah. defend Steve. Oh. It, they, they just all stink. Well, well I took home the funny like farm. Apache Ray, versus so. Gladiator, Viking versus Samurai, just Spartan good idea. versus Ninja. I give it to the, the Ninja because he just creeps up on the Spartan and kills him. <laughs> Is it, you could watch the show. <laughs> Is there a hot girl in uh, Ice Road Truckers? Yes, yes there, there is. Versus uh, hold on. Taliban. Uh, uh, Bob in Jersey. Bob, I give it to yep. Taliban. Hey, Bob. Happy birthday, Jeremy. Yeah. Good evening. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, I just wrote Truckers. I, I called a, an episode of that the other day, and uh, there was a girl on there, the hottest one on there, if you can believe that, the trucker, you know. And uh, she says to all the guys, that, um, her boss included, she needs to take bigger loads to prove how good a driver she is. But the whole episode was just dedicated. you got to get clips of the sound. It's really funny. What did she, wait, dude, dude, what she, did he say? She wants to take bigger loads. Yeah, she needs to take bigger oh, loads. Sorry. To prove you that just she's ruined my fucking up. Oh, oh, I'm sorry. Oh, literal. OB. I'm sorry. <laughs> I just wanted to give you the look. I don't feel too good about myself right now. <laughs> <laughs> I wanted to do. I wanted to steal the Jimmy bit anyway. So. Oh, All right. Man. I was just going to steal Jimmy's bit. Steve wrote down a very oh, important bit of information. Her? I'm heating up. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Sorry. Ann. He wrote. You guys did, and he underlined the D and did. <laughs> All right, so let me read it. You guys like did. my house. You guys did. 
did say yes to Billy Hayes. That was the National Geographic show. Yes, but we've moved on. And not only that, we also said hi to him because it, with the fucking major motion picture yeah, back in the, yeah. the 70s, a huge event that happened, and it happened to be on a yeah. channel. That was a great interview, I heard. Oh, that. that was fun. That, that, guy, that guy was fantastic. fantastic. Was, yeah. we got to get him back. Yeah, get us guys who have been in jail for at least four years in this yeah, You're right. need. You get Ryan Sheckler. If you want to... Uh, you from the life of Ryan. Said he passed away. <laughs> you didn't ask about the titty on the glass, though. <laughs> no, we didn't get to a lot. Oh, we should have had a vlog. Shit! Hang on. I was listening to that. And I thought, who that. is going to ask the titty on the glass? Right. I thought it was there Norton going to do it. There was so much shit going on with the old We had, so, we had so much more uh, to talk to him about. We, we should have had a vlog. And speaking of Billy, Bill Burr in Burr. studio. A Bill guy in a prison of his own kind. Bill Burr. Yes. Bill Burr, what's going on? Welcome. How are you? Very good. good. Very good. Thank you for, for taking me last second. Of well, you flew in to do Letterman, welcome. but you got bumped because of Joan Rivers, and now yeah, you got to fly back was, to L.A.? They had, it was going to go Joan Rivers, me, and then uh, uh, what's his face there? Um, Steve Winwood. Oh, Steve Winwood. Steve yeah. Winwood. Yeah, when did he, you find he, out you were bumped? How about they bump Steve Winwood yeah. for you? Oh, fuck. Enough with like Steve Winwood. who sold, sold out stadiums ah, for 30 years? <laughs> enough. <laughs> so I got there. I'm, I'm trying to help you <laughs> out. Did you my take on motherhood? <laughs> 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 no, it's one of those things. Uh, Joan Rivers Joan Rivers was killing. Yeah. yeah. She was hilarious. And, uh, you know, they were talking about, you know, the whole, uh, you know, when Carson just stopped talking to her. Wow. Like, evidently, oh, wow, when yeah, she okay. went up against him, he, he, he never talked to her again, ever. Never. Like, not even like on his deathbed, be like, ah, right, maybe it. I overreacted. It was it. It was over. So it was, it was compelling. She to called, listen to. She called, I think, Johnny to say, like, uh, I'm sorry your son died when his, his son was killed. Yeah. No response. But he was a motherfucker, oh. man. Yeah, she said when he called up, be like, yeah, listen, I'm kind of doing a show that's going up against yours. But, you know, you are the king. Wham. Click. Hung up. She called him back. He, he hung up on her again. Wow. And that was it. Never again. Never again. That's, a, that's that old school pre Dr. Phil. <laughs> yeah, How just... did that make you feel, Johnny Carson? Like, there's, no, there's none of that. No, nope, click, yep. fuck you. Cunt, yeah. click, goodbye. <laughs> 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 oh, that is old school showbiz, too. Oh, yeah. Hold a grudge forever. I gotta see that documentary. Dude, you're better oh, off not following right. that, though. Who wants to follow such... Because she's a legend. She's funny, talking about something that we all know. <laughs> you don't want to follow that, man. Probably better off yeah, on another episode. Oh, oh, she's great, she's man. She's like Mickey Rourke. <laughs> 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 you hear all stupid stories. He really is fucked Dude, up. she's the vicious. She's the like, edgiest. This is like having his dick though. Don Dumb Rickles yesterday. That stunk to high. I wanted to <laughs> kick the TV with that it, stupid it Don was, Rickles. It no, it's was good. Bad. Hey, no, hockey what, puck. No, what we hey, saw just, there. Just, I got that. But that's, that's what Jimmy. <laughs> but Jimmy was showing <laughs> us that clip saying that Don Rickles I killed. I never got hockey puck. It stunk. He, he did kill. Hey, look at you, you fucking booty booty. Like, yeah, I'm gonna kick him in his fucking prostate. That <laughs> fucking. <laughs> You're not a Don Rickles fan. Douche. I I love Don Rickles, but that particular that clip. That was a typical set. He looked at the guy. He looked at the music director at one point. He goes, "Hey, the doctor called." You died an hour ago. It was fucking funny, man. That I don't like funny. his love for Borscht Belt. I don't love <laughs> them. Loves Borscht I don't. Belts. No, I don't. I don't love those guys. I respect them. some of them. the Borscht Belt comics? Oh, Buddy Shaggy. Hackett did, uh, uh, which Jay Buddy Moore loves. Funny. Buddy Hackett. They're all funny. I like the Buddy yeah. Hackett. Here's what I love about that age. The one thing. not the, the, the 50 things. But my favorite is the whole... What what we don't have now, I think all of us have a sense where we could be as funny as them in the future with television, is that camaraderie. It's the it's mm. the Dean the Dean Martin roast, right? Right. And you right. knew they fucking knew each other and they loved each other, and it's like that's you, that I that impressed. But when you see fucking that 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 fucking commemoration or whatever the fuck that was. <laughs> I'm sitting there like you know, nor and I. It, you somebody turned it off because it was no. It you didn't watch the whole thing. Stuff or was he like? It was 80? a great example. You didn't watch the whole thing. I'll t I'm telling you, I watched the whole thing as a comedian. The magnitude of the gig. It was Reagan's inaugural. Fair enough. It, it was six thousand people or whatever. <clears throat> Reagan and Nancy are there. It, it's all of Washington, and Rickles just went on and was Rickles. But to watch him do it in that setting, it was impressive as a comedian. The magnitude of that gig for a comic. I'll give you that. I'll and then he, if you watch the whole put thing. Put it in context. <laughs> is impre I, I like it in context. That's what was impressive but about he, it. But he didn't put it in context, Jesse. He, he said, this is phenomenal. No, yeah, but it I didn't, just didn't I go over well just... 
on the of radio. Of course not. <laughs> <laughs> but I even said you shouldn't play it on radio. I said you shouldn't. Yeah. It wouldn't work on radio. Just Google it when you get home, and when you when you watch him working, work, it was Ronald Reagan. I mean, I know they knew each other, but it's, he's an it's, old man. It's, what he's yeah. saying is, if I have to agree with it, it, but I'm just saying that the, that the, sometimes you get caught up. And yeah. and stuff of 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 the greatness of old. Like, right. All I know is John was... Rivers is a great, but it's just like yeah. yeah. I was oh, sitting waiting yeah. for a funny a moment. Shit. Dude, when she and called it just Bri never came. when she called Brigitte Nielsen a cunt on her own show when oh, she had that internet. Great. Joan Rivers okay. is the fucking is the most vicious Little. comic John ever. She John is. Rickles trashed Ed Sullivan on his own show. Did you ever see that clip? Genius. Was that going, it for him? He's going, Ed, I love you. You're beautiful, but get your teeth scraped. <laughs> <laughs> Ed Ow. Sullivan had these Austin Powers teeth, so you see him yeah. smiling like he's trying to be a good sport, but you see he's livid, and I think he's he knew. Livid. I think he knew he was never coming back, so he just went off. I think it was something. Like Ed Sullivan's wife was in the front row, and they go, "Don't make fun of her," and he couldn't not, so he made fun of her, and then he goes, "Sorry, I love you, Ed. You're beautiful, but get your teeth scraped." And then he handed him the microphone, kissed him on the cheek, and, and walked was off. That was the last you ever I gotta saw see this. Yeah. Don, Don Rickles is amazing. It, 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 these people, some, but some, some should be. Look, <laughs> they, Roger Cabler. Roger Cable is better than fucking Rich Little. I want somebody to stop putting Rich Little. It's this Rich Little. After a while, you go. This when is somebody going to say Rich Little is he, maybe he the was worst? There on Carson in his tuxedo. He came out. You all remember as a kid going, "Oh look, uh, he's we've done this." We've done the bit, though. It, 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 Patrice is absolutely right. His impressions have always sucked. We just didn't realize. We just never realized. Rich Little did a fucking... He did a great Carson and a few great ones, but he, he, he did one few. time All a right, Pink he had a Panther. Few good ones. He, his Pink Panther was oh, so let's bad. Let's get these clips. We're, Dude, we it need, made me yeah. uncomfortable. Yeah, exactly. I, he, th he, thought, he thought Richard Nixon was always going to be funny. He right. was like yeah. doing Nixon yeah. in 1990. <laughs> I, I'm not a crook. Well, I'm, I'm not a crook. Like, doing like college gigs. <laughs> Dumb, college. <laughs> Dumb gigs. Johnny Carson he would do. <laughs> I'm a, I'll I'll take Monday off. Oh, yeah. What? Yeah, Leno's been oh, in the seat 15 oh, years. He's still Frank doing Kelly Johnny. Those, how about, how about, when he sees him. How about you work on your Jay Leno impression, you fucking... Out of touch. He's doing a Fuck. prom gig, <laughs> mammy. How I love you. How I love you, mammy. <laughs> just like a... kids are just confused. Diamonds, <laughs> diamonds are a girl's best friend. <laughs> you <laughs> fucking suck. <laughs> Let's get the clips. We need someone on the on the machine because oh, I gotta see the Ed Sullivan thing. I'm a Yankee Doodle Dandy. <laughs> <laughs> You, you dirty rat! You dirty rat! You killed my brother! And there's 18 year olds in the yeah. audience. Yeah. That's great. Yeah. Frankly, my dear, I don't give a damn. The great Rich Little, ladies and gentlemen. Let's give it up for him. He's doing fucking SUNY Delhi. Who is that motherfucker? <laughs> <laughs> He's des desperately trying to be contemporary. Oh, yeah. All right. Yeah. 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 DMX was in Gone with the Wind. Yeah. 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 And he still turns around yeah. and then yeah. becomes the, <laughs> uh, the person. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, his, I'll tell you, know what, you know what's a bad one? Up your nose with a rubber hose. <laughs> no, you know what's still a really bad uh, one is Robin Williams' Jack Nicholson at the Oscars every other year. Uh, Am I the only oh, uh, <laughs> Anytime he's bombing, he, he does this really bad, just, uh, I don't know, it's almost as bad as me presenting when he does at the Oscars. <laughs> What's he do? I don't... Wait, wait, Danny's in here. Danny, what, could you find what any... clip? The, the Rich Little, what... Was Doing the Pink Panther. Oh, the Pink Dude, Panther. Dude, it went right, on right. for too long, and he put <laughs> the jacket on, oh. and there was the music, like, ba-doo, ba no. I was like, all right. <laughs> I'm so glad we're giving it him a beating. It was fucking humiliating. I'm, I'm so right now. glad Dude, we're giving he, him a beating. I am too old myself. Dude, he would go like, and then I'm a self decline, and you're like, you don't sound like him. He, he yeah. doesn't talk like that. Oh, he only sounded like two guys out of his hundred impressions. Dude, but he wouldn't oh, stop doing it. It was like, how long are you going to be him? Oh, don't find it. I don't as even want to see it. As long as we need to oh, do it. Do we know which one it is? <laughs> You, any uh, of these clips look for Billy Crystal? Does the, girls, that's like when dance. Billy Crystal does the fucking oh, black guy. The black jazz uh, guy. After Katrina, a Buddha da boo boo de doo. <laughs> I lost my favorite trumpet. Can you dig it? I, I knew, knew you, you could. La uh, boo boo da doo de da. <laughs> and where was uh, Mr. Bush when we all needed the hip that we. Shut up! Woo! And it goes on forever. Yeah, yeah. Woo woo! <laughs> Oh, he thinks he's Stop doing it. mud bone. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Exactly. Hey, can we find the Ed Sullivan? Uh, oh, not Ed Sullivan, the uh, Ed McMahon clip. 
the uh, the that one might be easier to find. One? Can you stop it? I wish you would. <laughs> <laughs> Ed McMahon and Don Rickles. Yeah. There's no Rich Little. We can't find that one, huh? We can't find it's it yet. Got Maybe be oh, Rich down Little. The hall, uh, he probably got take a look 40 people trying to take his horse Dude, shit off the it's internet. so right, bad. Is this the one, Bill? I'm dying to see how bad that is. This is a Carson Dr. clip. Warmth. Don Rickles. Oh, come on, man. You can't. This is a classic. This is classic. I'm just going with the music. I like it. This is old school. Yeah. Good. Oh, oh, oh. And, and Johnny was a funny fucker, too. Yeah, hilarious. Yeah. I love when you stood a mighty cuss in our get place. Frog fungus. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't have time to tidy up here. No, it's okay. <laughs> Jews don't work zoos. <laughs> Ever seen a Jewish lion tamer? Never. never. Seen... You never hear Lou Lipschitz in a cage. No. With a tiger. <laughs> We've seen him in a cage, but <laughs> that's another story. Oh, anyway. Hey. A little Fine, Holocaust. Oh, yeah, been you, it's been you've been a long time. Yeah, well, you've been busy with other things. That's... <laughs> <laughs> and I, uh, I heard the other party's story, and well, not really. well, I'm going to help her get all we can get. <laughs> By the way, to make fun of Carson divorce. about his divorce yeah. on the show. Yes. Yeah, man, come on, dude. Play my premium blend from 10 years ago. It's going to be brutal. <laughs> What's up with No, Chris it's Cross? funny, actually. No, we're, dude, I mean, it's fucking funny, I think. To actually... No, we're in. We're dude, the in. balls, okay, the right, balls to in. do that. To yeah, ball, the I'm balls not... to sit there and make fun of his divorce to his face. Look, Nobody yeah. would make fun of obviously, Johnny's divorce. Yeah, the, obviously, the material's dated, but you could appreciate right, what the fuck he's doing right, at the time. Right, 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 right. I, thought, I, thought we, I thought we were going to look at what's his face doing the Pink Panther. I wanted We're to see to that. Find that, but I want to see the Ed McMahon. Of he, and he, the thing about Don Riggles, too, he was righteously that. That's what. Yeah. It's the best thing, but he's just righteously a fucking whatever he's doing now. Right? Was that at the end of the clip, Bill? Because maybe we could move forward and get to him. Oh, I don't. I didn't. I didn't bring this up. This one wasn't me. Who no, brought up the end I, of that? I, I don't know. Because you see what he's. He just. I think Danny is Danny. Just decided to put Don Rickles on. <laughs> no, um, no, no, we were talking about Don. No, we were talking about Rich Little, Little, and he was looking for Rich Little. We also talked about how Don Rickles beat Don the shit Rickles. out of Ed McMahon, who brought it up on the show. I guess you just did. I didn't know <laughs> shit about this. <laughs> Hopi, why did you bring the this scraping up? of the teeth? That's Ed Sullivan. Oh, that's Ed Sullivan. Oh, Ed Sullivan. But you see what he's doing oh, on what you call. And again, mm -hmm. I, I love Chris Rock. I'm just. I talk shit about. It's, it's fun, but. Everybody was jerking off Chris Rock just alluding to De Letterman in his situation. Right, right. And Rickles is just yeah, digging in his ass. Divorce. Yeah. yeah. You know you what I mean? Right so you, just go, just... you see how far we kind of... Yeah, what, yeah. What's irreverent is this? He's just like you. Fuck! I'm gonna help her get money. And Johnny was getting fucked in the ass by his ex-wife. Oh, oh my it, god! It, you know, and it's 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 just All like that you know, show money. what's edgy now is so like mm. really did yeah. you just do something? Do you understand that Reagan thing? He fucking did a black joke right up front. You don't see that anymore. No one's doing racial well, humor. It, it Jimmy's still Webster trying to sell it. <laughs> Jimmy's it was still trying Webster. to sell it. <laughs> <laughs> that fucking thing stunk. Because I'm gonna tell you why. <laughs> Jimmy's trying to it's, sell it. It's himself. the context. Now that he says the context. We can all have watched it with no, but Jimmy felt, said it with this heartfelt love in his heart for Don. Du dude, put this on and and, no. the, and the tear in his left eye, <laughs> and it's like this stinks. But I didn't say put it on. It wouldn't be. I said Google it hockey and watch puck. it. It's five minutes. Yeah, I didn't like hockey puck either. Call him hockey. But they puck. couldn't curse back then. You couldn't say douchebag or right. you had a certain limitation that you couldn't. You know, they weren't PC, but you couldn't allude to sex. <laughs> well, <laughs> we're stupid. I'm, I want to take care of going swinging. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe we can't really find any about, rich little. He was talking about Hulk Hogan. His story about Don Rickles is on that last Hulk Hogan hand. Oh, yeah, That's yeah. going up before he shakes his finger and he's going to get up. <laughs> there isn't one <laughs> rich little fucking impression on Wait, 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 wait. I got something. Eric uh, T, go to richlittle.com slash voice. Voices for the douche chills. Yeah. Right, we can uh, go right there. Something. Rich Little. All right, this is on the letter. Oh, no. Hold on. Pauses, pauses, pauses. Pauses. <laughs> Hold on to your balls, people. <laughs> what percentage of voices are going to be accurate? Don't zero. No, you got to give him maybe no, wait, one. Who's he going to do? Channing. Who's he going to do? He's going to Channing. He'll do Reagan. He'll do Reagan well. He'll do Reagan. Nixon, Nixon well. This? No, no, First no, of I'm, all, I'm everyone this. does Reagan. Oh, yeah. right, hold on. There's no one who doesn't Will. do Reagan at this Archie, point. Archie and Edith. 
bunker. Hey, oh, that's going to kill. Right, hold on, hold He's on. He's going to sing the theme oh, song. Yeah, what year is it? That's what I'm trying to get at. It's four years ago, so you got to put it in Only four years ago? So what impressions oh, would he, he do four years gonna ago? He's going to try to do some modern ones. Bush. That's what I'm saying. He'll try oh, Bush. He'll try he'll George Bush. Right. No. Clinton, Clinton. I guarantee he won't try Bush. He'll no. try Clinton. Nope. He will do Bush after Why? he does. Hold he's, on, hold he's on. He's not talented enough to he do Bush. He will do Bush after he does uh, fucking that Nixon and Reagan. That never stops Here's him. what he'll, he'll do. Let's make some, let's pay some money. $20 yeah. Here's what right he'll now. Do. He'll, have bu he'll say Bush. He'll allude to Bush and say Bush is not anything like... The old presidents. Right. When I came he's up, got yeah. to get it back was to the old presidents. He I'm will. telling you, he's doing Nixon and Reagan and a little Bush. Yeah. Yeah. He looks skinnier though. I he bet Nixon's right. giving Bush some advice. Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. Uh, yeah. Don't be a crook. Yeah. Right. <laughs> old presidents are giving Bush advice. I yeah, we bet. got it. Now, right. What else? He, what else? I, I bet, bet he does. does Bush stuff. What else? I bet he. I does say Clinton. Bush. He was I a bet Clinton. He doesn't do well. how much? I got Bill Clinton. No, I got. You want? I got. I got twenty bucks that he does. You know what? I'm not a gambler, but I will put. I put ten. He definitely does. I put ten. He definitely does a little Bush. I right. say, I, I, I'll, I'll, I got, say I Clinton because Clinton's an easier impression. But he's going to do. do a lot of old presidents well, to got, get to got, a little Bush. <laughs> put your money up, motherfucker. Shut the fuck up and put your ten dollars. I bet he doesn't do Bush. He does fucking Bush. I bet he doesn't. What do else does he do? Give me, give me the ten. I'll give you twenty. We're oh, set. Boy. All right, good. We're, We're all there. set. Whoever, whoever fucking. No, I don't care if he does Bush. The second he does George W., I am fucking grabbing that twenty, motherfucker. I'll put it in your reach. I'll let it down because he's not going to do fucking. Wait, what actor? Will he do? Oh, am He'll I do Nicholson. Uh, Nicholson. Do Nicholson. Uh, I don't do Nicholson. Dude. He's not. <laughs> it's four years relevant ago. enough Clint to do Bush. Yeah, he's doing Bush. Bush. He, he has to. He's doing P Bush. He's going to think he's got to do it. Because Clint Eastwood has been he, he, directing well, back in the day, and now he's still around. Dude, he's done every standing president impression he's at the time the president was in there. Bush. Everyone, you lost your money. You had it's to do there. Bush. I'm, I'm, I'm really and confident he won't do Bush. Hey, we're in. A, He'll do Dana Carvey's we're church. We're in on this together. Make sure I get a fucking five out of that. <laughs> I deserve something. Yeah, yeah, halves and halves. <laughs> well, I got my money <laughs> down over there? here. Yes. Okay, it's the two and two tens. Let's do it. Let's fucking do it. There's no way. Hold on. What else is he doing? What else would he do? Four years ago, two thousand four. No, 2006. Six. Lucille Ball. Jesus He'll do Christ, Lucille I'm Ball. Lucille Ball. <laughs> Christ, I'm finished. <laughs> Lucille Ball. <laughs> Lucille Ball. <laughs> Would it... <laughs> oh, Lucy. Yeah. That was from 1952, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Wouldn't it be funny if he did all barbaric impressions? <laughs> like, this is, uh, these are the Yates children's <laughs> <laughs> completely career-ending <laughs> moments. This is the, Ed AIDS, Sullivan. the African AIDS fly. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. Uh, Whoa. Uh, uh, Lacey Peterson, he'll, ladies and gentlemen. He'll do Carson. Ed Sullivan. Yeah, he'll, he'll do, do Sullivan. He'll do Sullivan, because he's in Sullivan Theater. Absolutely, I agree with that. You remember this theater? Yeah, Right, 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 right. So they'll do a really, Solomon really Carson thing. You're right. Ugh. And Johnny. Will, he will not do George Bush. All right. Right. I right. think well, he's going to be money. hilarious. I think he's going to kill it. Oh, <laughs> <he's> <laughs> go. Now. All right. All right, let's just go with it. Here we go. <laughs> oh, no. He looks young, actually. No, he doesn't. Looks good. Yeah. <laughs> looks like Todd Glass. <laughs> oh, we got money on our fucking rich little act. Regis, who is Dean Martin? Letterman. You know, I've been doing impressions for a long, long, long time. Have you? And I think the key to staying on top is to keep your act fresh, to oh, come up with oh, new people. Now, pause. 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 He's pause. Like, yeah. himself out. He's going to make fun of himself. <laughs> And do old ones. And do old yeah, ones. Of is course. That, because I it, have not done that. He, he'll say something like, I have not done this that. This is right. Burt Lancaster. <laughs> <laughs> if he'll be raped. But he's like, come on, motherfucker. <laughs> Burt Jesus Lancaster. I want, that, I want that money, man. It's so Spiro dumb. Agnew. It's All right. It's Spiro Agnew. It's done, man. <laughs> I'm so done. <laughs> he's calling himself out, but he's not going to do new ones. Right. Nelson yeah. Rockefeller. Yeah, you could be right, the agenda. He's making fun of himself. Right. Nope. Go ahead. Like Dr. Phil. I know that 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 you know that that I know that 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 you know. And if you knew that I knew that, I lost. then oh, oh. then then we both would Fuck. know if if we knew. But, but we that that that's not bad. That's not bad. That I was wrong. Very I'm gonna tell you, it, it stunk, and I'm gonna tell Thanks. you why. <laughs> it really, it I'm really gonna really tell bad. you why I really fucking did. lost. Because he doesn't care that he stinks. He doesn't care. He never has cared. You're out. He he's going to do Bush. You're God out. God damn it. He's Come not. On.
Come on, we got it. I mean, for just as bad as I thought it was going to be, I thought that was pretty good. <laughs> I had to agree. That was awful. Uh, they sound like fucking. Uh, what, 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 what Jimmy Stewart. Jimmy Stewart. Oh, but even he, the jokes uh, yeah. were like, you know, Phil goes nowhere. It, yeah, it doesn't. Nothing happens. Right, here we go. Let's right. go. It's a great opener. Fuck. <laughs> what is he talking about? Who's the president? Now I've done a lot of politicians. Oh, okay. oh shit! I've done people like, <laughs> like Bill Clinton. I was right. Who wrote me a lot of great material? <laughs> That's horrible. It doesn't sound like him. And nope. George W. Bush. There's my money, motherfucker. Jesus, Patrice, he was like 30 God. seconds in. God damn. Give me five of that. Woo. But I did, Woo. I did, I did submit. You know what you are? You're oh, I, something I, rich. I, a, I did, I did submit that he doesn't give a fuck. He does. That he stinks. Is why he does play, Bush. Play that Bill Clinton. Play Clinton, Clinton again. Dead on. And it was dead on. <laughs> hold on. Hold on. Hold on. <laughs> Clinton was so. He sounded bad. more like Bill Burr. <laughs> <laughs> and if you don't, if you don't account, if you don't count the applause that he got when they introduced him, he went into Bush within like thirty five yeah, seconds yeah. of yeah. that. Fuck. But the Clinton. That's so why I don't gamble. That's so why I do not. It's so bad. Clinton Let, was terrible. Let's yeah. hear his Clinton and, and into his Bush. Because I don't think he does all that much Bush. That's what I'm saying. Fuck. I, I think did, you're right. Bill, fuck. I did Bill he had Clinton. to do it, though. He does yeah. fuck. You listen he to Daryl for doing politicians. Fuck. You listen to Daryl Hammond's Bill Clinton. Know, you're like, I oh, that's how you do Clinton. Yep. Yep. <laughs> what is he talking about? Now, I've done a lot of politicians over the years. I've done people like, like Bill Clinton. Who wrote me a lot of great material? <laughs> that sounds nothing. That sounds horrible. No, like that sounds Bill like Clinton. Rich Little just saying something with the name yeah, Bill yeah. Clinton on it. With like a little laryngitis. It's terrible. <laughs> like Indigestion. Bill Clinton. And when he's just talking, he sounds like Andy Rooney. Listen for the Andy yeah. Rooney. Yeah, his voice is shot. If you're an impressionist and your voice comes out like this anyway, you're pretty much done. You're sunk. And George W. Bush. I don't know why the American people are picking on me. I haven't as, done anything. <laughs> not as bad as his Clinton. It's not as bad. Nah. He actually nah. fuck, fuck, fuck. Nah. You know, my money there for some reason. You, I'm you, bad you with this. Oh, have, you should be just picking your own money. Mm. There yeah. should be some money happening. Yeah, I, I get. Five. It was a pot. Yeah. I didn't know that somebody else was in on this fucking bet. I thought it was ten bucks, ten bucks. But I yeah, yelled like eighty wanna, times. That I'm in on this. Then someone's got to make some change. Oh, oh, you know I, what? I see the rest I'll tell you of this. I get wrong. fifteen of this because the ten no, has no, changed. No, no, no. I tell you what was fucking up. I owe you ten. Why? I owe you ten bucks. Yeah, it's not just me. Yeah, and I against bet your you because you guys bet the same thing against me. And I owe, oh, okay. I owe OP so 10 So you owe bucks. me fucking 10. Hey, yeah. I, I want to see the rest of this. I do too, actually. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. Phenomenal. Double or nothing, does he oh, do on, George I Burns? <laughs> I got another bet. What? Maybe I might get in there. He Go just ahead. said, you know, he's done a lot of politicians over the years. He did that, and then he goes, but my favorite, and then we cut it off. Who's his favorite? Oh, Nixon. Wow, good bet. Do Nixon. you think it's either going to be Nixon or Ronald Reagan? Nixon. Nixon. He looks like Dude. Nixon. No, it's going to go Reagan. He's going to be too afraid. Shit, the thing bet. that screwed his career was he kept doing Nixon. <laughs> I said you Nixon. You want to bet? I'm fucking nervous. And 10 on Nixon right here. I got 10 bucks on oh, Ronald Reagan. I got 10 on Nixon. Fuck. 10 on Reagan. I got 10 on I got 10 on Reagan. Where's your 10? Just put it all down there. Now I'm scared. Oh, yeah. I'm no, I'm taking, scared. I'm taking this. Nixon. Now whoever Nixon. wins gets that. I'm on Reagan. Reagan. And you owe me 10, motherfucker. I got Reagan. So if he does I both, got it's Reagan a push, too, right? Yeah. Oh, you wait, know what? Right on Reagan? Oh, this I got Reagan. Reagan. And now I'm getting confused. What? You put in 10? 10. Fuck. Reagan was alive when he did this. That might have been a safer bet because Nixon was dead four years ago, I believe. Reagan's Re easier to do. And Reagan Nixon. with Alzheimer's is hilarious. And it's more... <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. so fucking Nixon. You know what? Fuck. Reagan's more topical. <laughs> Nixon. That's it's interesting because so he, he had Alzheimer's. That might have been a bad fucking thing. Yep. Oh, maybe he wouldn't bring it up. I say Nixon. No, he's still got to do it. It's... This Nixon. is Ronald Reagan, who's now shitting his pants. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> God damn it, I well, where did her tits go? Yeah, she, well, I'm too, I'm too nervous, man. I'm too nervous. I'm too nervous. Right, let's go. I, I'm, I'm, all right, all right. I, I think I'm, I'm, I'm going to agree slightly. with Bill, though, with, the, with, with Reagan. Nixon. I'm going to say Now Reagan. I really Nixon. can't recall. Nixon. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you see, now you see, if all of a sudden he just started talking about fucking Honduras and everything. I remember everything, yes. Yeah, Nixon for the win. Let's roll. <laughs> Next one. Come on, Reagan. Come on, Reagan. Come on, Reagan. But my favorite, my favorite politician by far was always 
Ronald Reagan. Oh, yeah! Yes, oh, motherfucker! Oh, Ronald fucking Reagan, bitch! God damn. Yeah, I know it! God damn it! Damn. Damn. Thank you! Thank you! Fuck. Patrice, yeah. give me my ten. I ran out of money. Nice! <laughs> I am fucking making a fortune on fucking Rich Little! Where's my ten? Money. Shit, you owe me ten. Where's my ten? Yeah, you owe him you ten. Him. You get it from you Patrice. He owes me I'm ten. So you know oh, what? Shit. Anthony probably just watched this. <laughs> Piece yeah, of shit. That. You're a big, rich little fan. <laughs> <laughs> thank you. Oh, Give me a ten. Yeah, thank you, sir. So you, you transferred oh. the ten hour you yeah, over yeah, the yeah, oh. I know. He watched it last I'm night. Out. They're going to take him in the back room. <laughs> Look what they did to my yeah. hand, yeah. man. Yeah. You can take Rich Little or the hammer. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck. Yeah. Look at Anthony. He's really. He really is handy. Madness. Ronald Reagan, please. Okay. Shit. You right, said Nixon? Go. I did, and I switched to Reagan, but my original was Nixon. When so he Nixon. started going, I'm like, he's going to say Richard Nixon. Fuck. Fuck. I, right. And then it was Ronald Reagan. Oh, an upset right at the Excuse, line. I, I, really, no. I don't want to hear your process of winning. <laughs> 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 this is not a big victory. You guessed great. one out of two hack impressions. <laughs> it was Iggy or Nicholson. <laughs> it was either going to be. Yeah, it was either red or black. I mean, oh, I didn't like his emotional Jesus. victory oh, lap. Of course, this is great. <laughs> it is. It's just I won work. in. I won in. God damn it, oh, right. dude! I was nervous. Nobody Where cares. Where's the fucking waitress? I want a bud. <laughs> Budweiser, please. Ronald Reagan. Dealer showing ten. Yeah. <laughs> Motherfucker. <laughs> All right, let's roll this. <laughs> Fuck. We gotta get some more betting going now. Oh, I know. Well, let's listen closely. Right. Might be able to find another one. Yeah, we'll guess in his setups. Oh, hold on, sorry. <laughs> hey, he's doing this Reagan. Well, who the hell are you? That's, that's a pretty yeah. fucking good It's Reagan. a perfect Reagan. Yeah. Yeah. Ooh. Gotta get mad. You know, I had a pretty good career, considering the fact that I didn't even finish college. And a reporter over at the Times found out about this. And he asked me point blank, he said, Mr. President, were you a dropout? I said, what? He said, were you a dropout? I said, no, no, I, I was cesarean. <laughs> Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> bad joke. Next, next setup, we, we got to guess. That who was he's a terrible do. fucking Reagan, though. He yeah, wanted to give these guys a chance to win their uh, money it's back. The all right? setup. He's got four minutes okay. left in his bit. Here. Okay. You what other voices will he do? Well, Maybe we all pick setup, a voice from the setup. I like the setups better. Oh, yeah, right. let's hear if yeah, but that, I think that's gonna be obvious. No, no, no. Then he can get with the person. He said something like, "My favorite entertainer." And then he can fucking. These guys always did setups. All right, we'll see. Now, Andy Rooney of 60 oh, Hold on. Minutes. Andy Rooney. <laughs> God, how did you not? You should, you should have guessed that earlier, man. You said he sounded like him. Yeah. No, I'm trying oh. to think of a bet for Andy Why? Rooney. Andy Rooney. He will say, you ever notice? <laughs> yeah, he'll say, you ever notice? I'll bet he does something about uh, pancreatic cancer. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit. Andy Rooney. I'm telling yeah, you, we should nothing. just go with voices he's still You can survive though. lymph node, but pancreatic kills you. Why? Would, wouldn't it be great if he was just really inappropriate? Like, here's Andy Rooney being raped by a gang of spicks. <laughs> what? <laughs> what did he say? There's an unclipped cock in my ass. <laughs> That's yeah. a lot. No, he wouldn't say, he'd be saying by Ricky Ricardo. <laughs> <laughs> you ever notice how foreskin will hold gonorrhea more than an uncut, than a cut cock? You ever notice that? <laughs> you ever have guys fucking your mouth and bottom and yelling at each other in a foreign language <laughs> seems i remember nobody could put that on the internet <laughs> uh, should we should we try to guess like what other voice he'll do yeah because i don't know Andy if they're going to be like my favorite entertainer walter cronkite maybe another news uh, guy he'll tie it in well, we have to now have to, oh, i like I, that i like I news like, guy i like setup I, right, set up. I don't but we don't know if it's going to be set up. <laughs> I, I, know, think, right. I think the bit I might be first. Who, what he does first. Exactly. Everyone figures out a voice, and whoever's voice and whoever's he does first, first like gets the money. Damn, that's going to take long to think of. I'm, I, well, you just need a few I minutes. i got to go Nicholson. I'm going to go Fuck. after Andy Rooney. Um, I'm going to go, uh, well, let's all do this. I, I'm going to go Tom Brokaw. Wow. 
I, I say are, Cronkite. You are fucking losing at you're, Tom Brokaw. Right. Cronkite. Right. You're right. taking a long shot. I'm Let's trying to think of somebody contemporary that's easy to do. Because he is trying he's to be trying, relevant, but, but he's his, dipping in the oldness. His granddaughter could have tried to teach him in the town car <laughs> exactly. ride over. <laughs> this is Anderson Cooper. I'm going with Tom Brokaw. <laughs> or Larry $10. King. Do we do Larry King? Well, everyone come up with Dude, a I say Cronkite. I like Tom Brokaw. Thank you, Bill. Cronkite. Thank you. I'm going to say Nicholson just because it's one of his benchmarks. Next one? Right. No, not next one, but before we're saying any of the ones you're saying. Oh, okay. I think he's going to avoid it's, with, it's oh, before oh, what you're oh, saying. Okay, okay, okay. So, so everyone just come up with a, a oh. name, and, and if whoever gets... Eddie Deason. All right, how much is this bet? Five bucks? <laughs> uh -uh, let's go. Because everyone's in. Let's go a thousand. $1, well, we're $1, doing $1. Nicholson. No, he's doing... Uh... You have five I can borrow. Oh, Jesus <laughs> Christ. I'm <laughs> so lame. I'm so lame. The only I day I need money, I don't have it. I say Cronkite. You say Cronkite? I do. I'm saying Nicholson. I'm, I'm saying Brokaw. Be, uh, before. And says, who's he doing now? This is Andy Rooney. Andy Rooney. Andy Rooney. So he's kind of, I think he's going to say it to other fucking news guys. News guys, whatever. you think? Yeah, I think okay. so, man. Who That's do you think, Yeah, Bill? Who's that guy who used to do the, the puppet with his with his thumb? Senior Valensis. Yeah, he's going to do him. With Topo Gigio? <laughs> <laughs> Topo Gigio. Uh, I'm going to piggyback. I'm going to go with Tom Brokaw, too. You all right? Hey, all right? All right. I'm going with Tom Brokaw, too. Wait, that means you're going to split my money if I win. Does no! I got nothing. All right, oh, he's going yeah. to yeah. get yeah. Pam Dauber. I don't have anything. <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean, Jack Nicholson, you stole my brain when you said Jack Nicholson. Like, I just, I, now I don't know what well, to even well, say. Come up with one. Yeah. Just to be <laughs> but where'd you hide it inside something small, I bet? Do you want, uh, do you want Nicholson? I'll, I'll, give, I'll give you Nicholson. I'll give you Nicholson because I'm, I'm changing mine. Oh, shit. I'm not going to take Nicholson. I don't want Nicholson. It's just that now I'm... I'm, I'm th here's what... 2004. I'm trying six, to think six, of... Six. Two, Oh, Jesus, six. I'm sorry, 2006. Might make a difference, I don't know. Maybe 2006 is, Maybe is what? That's what you have to, that's why he's this game's do great. He's going to do Homer Simpson to get the kids. Shit. Homer oh, Simpson. Oh, wow. Fuck, All right, Bill Burr's got one. Homer there Simpson. There we go. Damn, Homer, Homer Simpson. Simpson. That's strong. That is a good one. Right, Homer, strong. Fuck, I'm taking fuck. Nicholson. He needs a bit to bring him back to the kids. What was a big, uh, what was a big movie in 2006? That's what you got to figure out on your own. Yeah, can't, it can't be doing any research. Don't do any research. And Patrice, what do you got? Is it $5 a man, $10? What are we doing? I'll put in 10 And if And if he does a setup here, then we could do some side betting as well. We'll do 10 bucks. Here it is. I think uh, I say Nicholson before any of the ones you guys said. Okay. And that's what we got. You got Homer before any Homer. of the ones I we said. I saw we play this tape before the listeners fall asleep yeah. at this ready? point. Yeah. No, ready? I think they're in. Ready? Yeah. I'll say, ready? They're in on this I one. I say Cronkite. Fucking Don Corleone. Don Corleone? He'll do fucking Marlon Brando. Oh, oh, shit. I, I like that. All right. That it one's is. This is a winner takes all. I have to wait. Give me a 10 back. This is. Hey, uh, but what about my two fives? No, <laughs> they learn fast. All right, now how does this work? Yeah, I'm doing an Because he might do two. Two people might be right, so that's the first guy's right. First guy. Or nothing. It's all first or nothing. Guy. First, first, first guy. Right. It's whoever, whatever impression comes up first, and if it goes okay. to the end without it, but it won't, he will do one of these five. My, my ten's coming. I'm how in. is there forty-two dollars in. in there? How dumb are we? <laughs> 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 these motherfucking <laughs> mother <laughs> crooks. My ten's coming, so it'll be fifty to the winner. I put my five. There was. If we're going five. I put a five and five singles. Yeah. Ten. Oh, no, so I, put, ten. I put. I took a five and put a ten in. I put five and five singles. So yeah. Thirty-five dollars here. Wait, we're doing ten each. Yeah, we're doing ten each. Yeah. Oh, we're doing ten oh, each. Oh no, no, five each. Ten. Ten. Oh. Ten. Which oh, Patrice ten. really doesn't like to gamble. I, I know. I'm, I'm, I'm trying, trying to lower the minimum. Like this. But Patrice is already in. Here's You're my ten. In deep already. <laughs> yeah. Is that Kenny had to borrow? Kenny had to come in. Betting today. Kenny's bankrolling Opie. Kenny's bankrolling Opie. It's my fucking ten. All right, Danny, you wrote everything down, right? All right. Yeah. Set this up, Danny. What do we have? Let Danny set this up. All right. Well, so the person to win this pot will be the one to have the next. Impression that Rich Little does. Yes. Before, Before the any So it doesn't matter. If he does two, whatever the first one was is the winner. Okay. Yep. Ope has Tom Brokaw mm -hmm. and has Jack Nicholson. Jim has Walter Cronkite. Uh, Patrice has Marlon Brando as Don Corleone. <laughs> and uh, Bill has Homer Simpson. Well, you know can what? I, I, I have Marlon Brando as any character? Will you at least give well, me that? I, no, yeah, yeah, Marlon yeah, Brando. Yeah, he so. might go stellar, too. Yeah, you could go Marlon Brando. Okay. Listen, you know what? I, I purposely didn't look at the phones. One we was an obvious choice. Schwarzenegger. Motherfucker. Oh. And I'm saying it now because everyone's bets are in. He won't. That's a that's a that's a big one. Fuck! 
In 2006, that's a huge and one. And he's governor. And that's he's a big governor. One. Oh, shit. That's a big one. He's shit. the governator. So who said... <laughs> <laughs> did you? What, did you change your bet? No, I'm just saying. You can't. Change you, can't it. you can't. You can't. No. Oh, you're reading the fucking thing. Fuck no, that. you didn't hear me. <laughs> I, I, I just said, said I didn't read on purpose, and now I'm doing it for the holy oh, shit moment that we just okay. got. Oh. Right, we're all no in. one got Schwarzenegger. We're all in. No, I got broke hard. Danny said it. But. I say right. it's going to be the assassination of Anwar Sadat. <laughs> <laughs> all right, let's roll. Here we go. Come on. Or an arrow. Oh, we need volume. 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 Oh, sorry, sorry. Saddam Hussein. Hussein. Hopefully the future. And he's always asking questions. A little annoying at times, but always asking questions. Andy Rooney. Here's a few things that bother me. <laughs> That's that Why do they sterilize needles for lethal injection? <laughs> pause, pause. If he said... Because only fags are getting AIDS, if you know anything about it. <laughs> and a bunch of dope users, who cares if they're dead? <laughs> Seems I remember you could fuck a man in the ass without dying. <laughs> <laughs> I like yeah. Bill Burr's Andy Rooney. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, he starts off high. It's the end of the... I was he just going to say... Nah, 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 nah. Seems I remember... Nah, 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 nah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, Bill does the end of the yeah. uh, Andy Rooney. <laughs> All right, let's roll. Oh, <laughs> Come on. Why did kamikaze pilots wear helmets? <laughs> I don't understand that at all. Here's something else. If an asp in the grass is a snake, then why is a grasp in the ass a goose? <laughs> I don't get that at all. Move on. Come right. on. Come on. Come on. Here we go. Roll the dice. Come on, Nick. Choke a smurf. Yes. What color would he turn? <laughs> Enough about the Andy Rooney. See some money here. Come on, come on, move on. Please move on. If you uh, OD uh, on please. Viagra, how would they get the cough and lid closed? Bonus joke. No one said Nixon, though, huh? Might These pull are Nixon things out. to think about. They really are. All right, here we go. Here Nixon we go. killed his now, career. Johnny Carson. Johnny there you Carson. Go, Carson. We're you know, all a lot of people think that Johnny Carson came easy How for me. This is not true. No one picked At first, thing. I had trouble doing Johnny huh. Carson. This is back in the 70s. And then one day, I was out at the San Diego 18. Zoo, <laughs> and I was looking at the ostriches. And I suddenly realized, that's how to do Johnny Carson. <laughs> think of an ostrich. Very physical uh, comedy mm -hmm. we're watching out here. Very physical mm -hmm. comedy. Translates well. You might close with Carson. Jesus, come on. Come on. Quiet, quiet please. <laughs> a home run and a triple. A first baseman's glove, a catcher's glove, and Dolly Parton. Oh. Dolly Parton. Oh, he is good. This was an actual joke from 1973 <laughs> on the Tonight Show. Yes. Oh, he's a Name two big hits, two big myths. <laughs> oh, yeah. oh, we only got a tie. Thank you very much. Oh, shit. Uh, we all split, split pot. I hate the split pot. And no one picked Carson. Now, his voice has changed, too. It's like he, because his Carson was amazing, but his voice is grot like there's yeah, certain things. Graveling he, an impressionist mm -hmm. can't overcome. That's nice and anticlimactic. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I'm, take, I'm taking my 10. Fucking 10. Give me two fucking fives. Back, Thank you, Bill. Someone better I make some Kennedy. change, motherfucker. That's right. I want my goddamn 10. Why don't we take a quick break? Uh, Patrice is going to be at the Miami Improv this weekend, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Yeah. And uh, Bill? Sunday also. Sunday? Sunday? Yeah. And Bill, you just hanging in when you got uh, anything going I'm on? I'm doing the uh, Park West Theater, Chicago, Illinois. Sweet. When? Uh, sorry. Friday, July 23rd. This Friday? Yes. Okay. And I'll be in Atlanta at the Punchline at the end of the month. 29, 30, 31. Perfect. Our uh, lineup today, man. Of course, Jim Norton. Of course, Patrice O'Neill. And now Bill Burr stops in to say hi. How great is this? Ah, uh, fantastic. It's out. Oh, the Bill Burr. Fuck. What'd you do? You hit your knee on something there, I see. My kneecap. Yeah, that's normal. To have a big, huge piece of equipment so when you, you slide your chair in every time, you got to fucking. Uh, it is here. I think I just split it in half. Anyway, Bob, Bill Burr was saying that he had a... Oh, wait a minute. I don't know if I'm supposed to say this on the air. 
Huh? Had what? Hold on. Uh oh, he's writing something down. Because I don't no, want to. No, he was. Nah, no, because nah. he started yeah, out yeah, as his yeah, Well, that's yeah, why I wrote Jesus, it down. Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. You don't remember he's saying is the mic off? Well, that's why I fucking wrote it down, because then I wasn't sure. Oh, okay. I don't blow up spots anymore. Oh, okay. I'm, I'm being a little smarter. <laughs> it's a great story, though. <laughs> Uh, that, that's awkward for everybody. Yeah. Right. It's not uh, as good as this YouTube video. Yeah, there we thank go. you, Bill. There we go. Bill Burr was telling us that he found a fine video clip called Best, uh, Best Wrestling, Wrestling Promo, Promo Ever, Ever. starring uh, this guy, Jumpin' Jeff Farmer. I'm judging, I'm guessing that it's, it's from like the 80s, and this is before Vince McMahon sewed everything up, so it's an independent uh, wrestling thing. I don't know. I don't know where at. But this guy is. This uh, is legit. So basically, what it is is this guy jumping Jeff Farmer. He's gonna, you know, he's gonna promote jumping his show. Jumping Jeff Farmer. Jumping Jeff Farmer. He's gonna promote his big wrestling match coming up on the Saturday. He's gonna do the Ric Flair thing. Now well, let me tell you been... something. He's supposed to be doing that shit, and he, he it might have a little bit, a uh, little bit of a tough, tough time. We, we've all been spoiled by the uh, professionalness of the wrestlers and uh, how how they're able to rock the mic and really get on there and ad lib and talk. And uh, this guy apparently doesn't have the skills. He's still in the, in the development phase. I'm oh, not, okay. not going to judge his entire career. But. <laughs> All right. So we got Sam in here. He's a wrestling expert. Sam is a, an expert. Maybe I mean, uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Sam. Uh, uh, will he come running down the hall with those floppy feet? You know, we've we got to promote that Kevin Smith's calling the show today, too. Yeah. Oh, yeah. show just keeps getting better and better. Oh, my God. He tweeted a while ago that he's, he's sleeping on his phone. Right yeah. now, so so they wake him up for the uh, the interview today. So uh, Kevin Smith in about fifteen twenty minutes. Very All close. right, let's check this out. Best wrestling promo ever. Earlier we talked to Jumpin' Jeff Farmer. Let's go now to that interview, folks. There's Jumpin' Jeff Farmer. Jeff, a while back, what a match you had with Motley. Yep. Probably the hardest match I ever All had right, in my life. Pause. <laughs> when things aren't my, going my way. Motley Cruz, you turned the tables on me. You turned the tables in a wrong way. You got me mad now. I've stood around. I've listened to everything you had to say. I've did everything necessary. But when you turn around and you backstab me one way or another and you treat cheat me out of what's rightfully mine, that's when I get angry. Now I'm the one doing the challenging. I'm issuing a challenge to you, Motley Cruz. Get in the ring with me. This time, I'm going full force. <laughs> Jumping Jeff Farmer. Now let's go to the ring. <laughs> Jumping <laughs> Jeff? That guy is the worst. That is the worst intro ever. Oh. You got your ass kicked last week. Yep. Yep. <laughs> yep. yep. Motley Cruz. I'm... <laughs> I just love the panic force. on his face. Like he looks like oh, he's gonna fuck, piss that's himself. That's what I was supposed to. I was supposed to go on with this shit. He looks like he's gonna piss himself. <laughs> what man? That guy. Someone's saying he played the fake Sting at one point. Is that true, Sam? Oh, really? Does he look so. familiar? I don't think so. He never had a career in wrestling, no, really. So. Uh, uh, Someone was trying to say he's in the Wrestling Hall of Fame. The <laughs> the, the W whatever the whatever that is. I'm in the WWE Hall of Fame. Well, he's in IPW. Don't fucking get IPW Sam before. started. He'll he'll school you yeah, on this Sam, shit. Sam, I thought you knew everybody. The, 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 the Did we find a wrestler you don't know? Now. I've stood around. I've listened to every. You know that guy? No, I didn't. No, you don't know that guy? What are you doing? Thing you had to say. I didn't know he was a Honda. I did everything necessary. Oh, give a listen. But when you turn around and you backstab me one way or another, and you treat cheat me out of what's rightfully mine, that's when I get angry. Now I'm the one doing the challenging. I'm issuing a challenge to you, Motley Cruz. Get in the ring with me. <laughs> this time, I'm going full force. Jumping Jeff Farmer. Now <laughs> that guy's away. classic. <laughs> that guy's classic too, by the way. <laughs> by the way, all wrestling promo bloopers are <laughs> it's <just> genius. Fucking <laughs> great. Kim Patera. <laughs> it, it's just fantastic. Are there some bloopers out there? Oh, yeah. Dude. Have uh, you ever seen the one where Booker T calls Hulk Hogan the N word and then he <laughs> grabs his head because he's humiliated? Let's find well, it. Hulk Hogan calls <laughs> yeah. Tony Atlas uh, Black Boy like when he was doing, <laughs> really? back when he was uh, Thunder Lips. Well, uh, this, one, this one's great. <laughs> the Hulk Hogan. Yeah. What's the tugboat one? Right here. We take what we want, and after we take Lex Luger and the Giant, we want the gold, sucker. Hulk Hogan, we coming for you, nigga. I should point out the record, Stevie Ray, look at this. Take a look. <laughs> <laughs> the guy puts his 
his hands oh, and his like, 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 oh, puts his fucked head. up. Yeah. yeah it's the best is when he turns around and he looks at the girl and his crew like, oh, Vince is going to kill us. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we take what we want, and after we take that Kruger and the child, we want the gold sucker. Hulk Hogan, we coming for you, nigga. I should point out the record. <laughs> 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 and Sherry, Sherry was like, yeah. Yeah. what do you say? <laughs> <laughs> Which he should have been able to say, which is sound good. Oh, We're coming for you, nigga, because that's in his character. <laughs> uh, 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 fantastic. Wrestling promo bloopers right, are more. genius. Let's, let's well, Kip Patera more, is genius. Lex Luger's genius. There's a Lex Luger blooper right there. Oh, know, yeah, yeah, yeah. Macho Man play, Luger. Let me play the Lex Luger one. We take what we want. <laughs> and after we take Lex Luger and the we want the gold sucker. Hulk Hogan, we coming for you, nigga. I should <laughs> <laughs> The best part is he goes to cover his face, and then he makes it look like he's rubbing his hands together. Yeah, he's like, like, uh, like he knows he just fucked up so bad. Then he's thinking, maybe also, this will fly after all, so i got to cover up that he just fucked the, up. The whole time he's got his chest, his pecs doing yeah, that. Yeah, his pecs are moving up and down. Yeah. <laughs> this one, this one's good because it's taken like when they do SmackDown, they tape it to rebroadcast and they edit it sometimes. Yeah. But if you have a satellite dish, you can pick up the satellite oh, the feed, feed and watch it live. Perfect. So they got the satellite feed of Hulk Hogan just completely like Fucking starting up. over and blowing it. Yeah. Through, like, okay. The Hulkster again. Oh, he messes up in front of the whole crowd. And you know, McMahon, the fact that I had something to do. With building this company just makes you sick. The fact that I am the one that put this company on the map and helped you make it what it is today, that makes you sick to your stomach, brother. Yeah. And all those Lear jets that you have, all those billions of dollars, the houses that your kids live in. The twenty million dollar vacation home and blah 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 blah. blah. Just will shut up because of these maniacs. Shut up. <laughs> I convinced. Kiss my ass. Whoa. <laughs> Fucking Vince. Let me tell you something. I think you're starting to believe in your own bullshit, Hogan. <laughs> <laughs> I could have had anybody play the part of Hulk Hogan. I could have had anybody bring Hulk a man. Hold on one second, McMahon. You actually think anybody could have ran with Hulkamania? Look at all the guys you gave the ball to. Look at all the guys that had the belt. Look at all the guys that ran to the goal line. Nobody ran as hard and as long as I did, McMahon. Uh, 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 it sounds like a real argument. I, I, I know. If actually. you actually think if you actually think I was just the right guy at the right place at the wrong at the right time, uh -oh. let me say it one more <laughs> time so you completely understand. <laughs> if you actually in front believe of the crowd. in your mind, if you actually think that I was just the right gay guy <laughs> at the right place at right the right gay. time, well then you're a bigger delusional bastard than I thought you were, McMahon. Ooh. Right gay. <laughs> right gay. Yes. <laughs> Cockamania going wild. <laughs> you know what I say right now, McMahon? Right now we just settled this. They're waiting for somebody to yell cut. I had a match yeah, yeah, with yeah. The Rock a couple of weeks ago. Yeah, he was just babbling. And you were the one that I wanted to get in the ring. You were the one this that I was supposed stinks. to have a match really does. with. Holy a mother of, of God. Ago, it goes on forever. And and you Sam. Mother. Sam, what Sam, happened? This is Why would you do a, this, Sam? This this I put the this good ones on. Yeah, this man. Was a good We're losing one. them, man. We got a good bit here. Right. We're like, losing them. You go with a fucking yeah, four man. minute. Yeah, they really did mess up, didn't they? Yeah, yeah. What the fuck is. <laughs> Sounded like a regular promotion. <laughs> bloopers. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, this is good. All right, let's go bloopers. Uh, you said this is good. You better make up with the. It's like Sluger. <laughs> right. And the Kempatero one, dude. Yeah, that, that, that one next. All right, Lex Luger. Uh, Mr. Luger, Mr. Luger, I saw what just happened out there with Ron Killens. I just want to ask you, I mean, what are your plans for the next show, Super Brawl Saturday? I mean, are you, are you going to take care of Ron Killens? What kind of disgusting, despicable, despicable lack of respect does that Billy What's-His-Name show book at a match for the total package Lex Luger and Super Brawl? 
Super Saturday? What is it? I don't even know what it's called. What's it called? Super Brawl Saturday. Super Brawl Saturday? <laughs> Can you afford to pay me to wrestle around? I don't know. I'm one of the biggest legends and stars ever in the... God! <laughs> <laughs> he can't get and you can't too tight too, Billy! And you book a match with me! That's right, Keelan! Look at me! I'm a total package! I will rip him apart! I'm pissed now! <laughs> he fucked that up. Oh! <laughs> I don't think I'd... That stunk royally! Even the interviewer, he has his whole costume on, but his voice is just regular. Yeah, yeah. regular voice. Come to the point. What's that? What's that one, Sam? This one's Kim Petera with fucking Gene. The Intercontinental Title for less than 48 hours what? can Saudi be quite Roddy. so cocky, quite no, so. Er has come to the point that the conspiracy is completely it's really hard out of hand. Can hear. He turned his gang of henchmen on me, his goon squad: King Kong Bundy, King Harley Race, <laughs> Hercules Hernandez, Mr. Wonderful Paul Orndorff. Yeah, I've been humiliated before. If I'm so humiliated right now, I'm afraid to turn my back. I don't want the people to see what happened to me. They whipped me like a dirty yard dog. And I'm going to tell you something, Weasel. And the goon squad. I can take pain. I can recover it. Or recover. I can recuperate. Or oh, I'm fuck? beyond that. I am so... Watch Gino. Gino the best. ...that are going on the World Wrestling Federation. Gene. I think he was laughing when he said dirty yard dog. It's just a matter of time. Like I said before, and I said it to you, Mean Gene, I said it to everybody. It's just a matter of time when Ken Patera gets in full gear and runs the World Wrestling Federation, <laughs> or original World Wrestling Federation, of the likes of you, Weasel, and King Kong Bundy, Ray, Hercules, Warndorf, uh, all of you. You're all going to go down one by one, and I'm going to make sure of that. For the whipping that you gave me, whip me like a red-headed, red <laughs> I'm sick and tired of that type of treatment. <laughs> I'm gonna carry these stars for a while, but I do hear and I hear well. <laughs> All right, what a beating he took. <gasps> oh, that was God. a little too visual yeah, because oh, Mean Gene is laughing his Dude, fucking it's ass a shame. off. It's, it, 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 this someone's been. Uh, oh, this is this some, is really good. Uh, there's a couple things coming in. Uh, Botch Mania on YouTube and Shockmaster. Yeah, Shockmaster. 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 You've seen it before, I think. Shockmaster. Boxmania is very visual, but uh, oh, okay. I this... had ten laughs in my life. <laughs> Shockmaster is up there. Shockmaster's yeah. in. Uh, it it might be in the top five. Oh, we get wow. that. Shockmaster. This is my favorite one. It's Psycho City. He doesn't realize he's live. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, no. oh, oh. The offense, but there are a lot of skeptics that think that perhaps you can't take it. How do you address those skeptics? Well, the skeptics and all the people have a little bit of. Let me do this again. Oh, it's live, pal. Sorry. <laughs> it's live, pal. Get their answer tonight. Well, there you hear it, a man. A few words. Psycho said back to you. You said to be honest, he's like this idiot. <laughs> You're live, pal. He just asked, let me do that again. Yeah. He, covered, he covered for him, though. A man, a few words. Yeah. A few stubborn words. <laughs> yeah. This is uh, the Shockmaster. What is the uh, Look, man. What's the setup on this? Basically, they is were this supposed a good to. Version of it? Oh, Rick Flair is the best. Yeah, they were supposed to. Uh, they had a mystery partner, and he was supposed to be like the next big uh, good guy in WCW. Yeah. And uh, he was supposed to bust through the wall, oh, no. but nobody told him there was a support two by four under, like at the base of the wall. Yeah. So he trips right over the two by four and falls flat on his face. <laughs> <laughs> this was... and, but you gotta have Sting. The, the entire thing is the funniest thing you ever seen. Sting yeah, and the is. and the Br British Bulldog are horrendous. <laughs> they were supposed to pick this big pump up of the yeah, shot master. Yeah, right. the shock master. But when he fought I'm telling when when Ric Flair because he's one of the greatest of all time at this, surrounded by five bums <laughs> who are awful. And his reaction to what happens, I watched this 700 times, and, the shock, and I cry every time. The Shockmaster, he was just an old wrestler from the WWE. From, he was Tugboat in WWE. Uh, I remember Tugboat. Except they put a Stormtrooper helmet, <laughs> literally. A stormtrooper helmet oh. that they covered in glitter. Oh, with sparkles. <laughs> that was his outfit. Right, Make sure you have the, 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 the sting lead in. I will. So that, this, you know. This was actually so bad that this guy had a whole gimmick. He was going to be the next main event guy. They changed his entire gimmick so that he was just a klutz that always lost. <laughs> they couldn't do anything with him. After that. Because of his debut, yeah. What you say is, our partner is going to shock the world because he is... 
none other than the Shaq Master! Right. The Shaq <laughs> What's up, wait, 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 don't, wait, wait, don't miss, don't miss Rick Flair. Please right, listen to Rick Flair. Flair. Explain what happened already. Oh my God, he <laughs> fell out of the wall and then he lost his helmet yeah. and had to go get it and put it back on his head. And the helmet covers his old face, so it's like that's a good gimmick. His, you don't see it. It rolled away. And his helmet. And then rolled away. He had to it halfway it. through the wall trying and to grab for his he had like a potted, <laughs> glittered, potted plant on top of his fucking head. Do you think other wrestlers laughed at him for this? Oh, or his voice, God. Go his back, voice go was back. done. Go back. His voice was done by a guy oh. off the set who had a live mic. Oh, they didn't shit. tape it. He did it live. So when he trips, you can hear them go, "Oh God!" <laughs> off oh, no. set. That was Rick Flair. Oh, Rick Flair. Rick when Rick fire. Flair, he goes, because oh let me tell you something. If, the, the whole, if you if you watch the whole thing when, at home, you gotta understand the Harlem Harlem Heat, yeah. who would just fucking call, call Hulk Hogan nigga. Yes. He had he was doing a bad promo, and Sid Vicious. We just saw Sid again. Vicious was doing a bad promo. Now we just watched two bad promos. British Bulldog and Sting were awful, and Ric Flair had, to, this was like the Ric Flair show, yeah. so he was trying to put this together, and Ric Flair's trying to, but, but when, when he fell through the wall, Ric Flair went, oh God. <laughs> <laughs> that fall through the wall is the greatest thing and I've ever seen. It takes forever. <laughs> it falls in slow motion. Oh, Did you rewind it? I yeah. rewind it even further. Oh, so yeah. Yeah. Helmet falls. Uh, it's it's just how falls. bad the promo yeah. is up to that point. He's right? panicked grabbing for that helmet. And this is in front of an audience? Yo, Yo yeah. This it's is... a live audience and it's live on TV. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, this is their big thing leading uh, up to a pay-per-view, uh, live God. television, by the pay-per-view, so uh, you can see this it, guy make his this, debut. Oh, that was supposed to be his debut. And he this is his debut. debut. And he felt this is, he's like, this is the mystery of And, and, and to make you, it perfectly you, clear, they're expecting big things from the shock man. The uh, main but you guy. heard Sting. Like, maybe the next Hulk Hogan yes. or something. Did Sting goes, you're in for a shock. You're right. It completely changed. Yeah. <laughs> For the most How part, is that, it that helmet thing going to stay on if he ever wrestles? If he wrestles, he doesn't even need a shin about strap or something. Is this yeah, the they, best clip? They, they the really audio is a little low on this. This is the best uh, version of it? Yeah. All right. Bear it's with the us. Greatest thing I've ever seen. I yeah. rewound it a little further so you could get okay. something more lead up. All right, All right. good. All awesome can think, it seems to me, if you were as smart as you act like you are, you wouldn't have waited. This is Sid Vicious bad promo. Yeah. <laughs> you know they're all nervous because Flair's there. <laughs> Flair is just like disgusted. <laughs> oh my god, they're just yelling. <laughs> That's the British Bulldog I'm talking about. Yeah. The world <laughs> he sure he is. is. None other than the Shock Master. Oh, right. <laughs> 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 I had him so bad. Just go back to Flair. Wait, that is the worst outfit I've ever seen. <laughs> You have to listen. He's got Captain he Caveman's <laughs> vest on. It looks like he's wearing a pumpkin on his head. <laughs> he away. The fuck you <laughs> have to understand that Rick Flair <laughs> went off. He said, What the f? Oh, he was like, God. Oh, God. Dude, he's oh, having his God. He goes <laughs> and he puts his helmet back on. <laughs> <laughs> Awkward. You can see he's shaking his head through his helmet. He's like, I fucked that. Up. He's got to put his helmet on because the other guy's going to do his promo for him. Him, so you can't see his mouth. <laughs> Shock Master <laughs> it's, it's, the, it's in the top laughs I've ever had in my yeah. entire life. Just because it, it, it's like it's not even a regular wrestler. His name is the Shock Master. He falls, he falls through the wall. He's supposed to break through.
I watched, I, watched this, I watched this live in 1993. So funny. It's the greatest moment in pro wrestling history. I'm There's Kobe, never been a better. If you, you think watch the entire I'm thing, it. it's killing me. There's eight different things that'll make you laugh. Do you, think, yeah. do you think they watch this and just laugh? Dude, oh, yeah. it ruined his career, man. It did. It completely destroyed, it destroyed his, his career. career. It now, destroyed his career. Not only do you have to, you have to be as quiet as you can That's because so you can hear Ric Flair say, "Oh God,", oh, God. and Listen. then. You can hear offset where he's supposed to, where he's getting ready to do his promo for him. Uh, you can hear them making fun of him. Okay. Oh, just, just, just be, it's right. hard to. Right, let's try to be it quiet. It is hard to be quiet because it's so fucking funny. Keep the laugh to yourself <laughs> if you can. It's all, it's all it's bad. Just rolls off. It's <laughs> the fucking fat gut of vets. This guy just sucks. Yeah, no. <laughs> I, I fell through the wall. <laughs> I was trying to drill a hole. I made it too big. <laughs> Wait a minute. You know what? And we're doing his costume an injustice. Yeah. He had a fur, a giant fur vest that was three quarter length <laughs> with no buttons, a giant sparkly helmet, and jeans and boots. <laughs> the Shockmaster and no shirt. Oh, the Shockmaster. The Shockmaster was oh. an ass. <laughs> They literally, after this show, they changed his entire gimmick. He became a construction worker that constantly falls down. <laughs> that was his career. Oh, that's what he yes. They gave him Bell's palsy. <laughs> <laughs> the stroke master <laughs> keeps having them. <laughs> okay. Shockmaster rules. I don't, I don't think I'm going to be able to watch this. This again. is the greatest thing I've ever seen. I'm telling you, the dude. smoke. Okay, everybody contain yourself. I will try. Uh, <laughs> we'll try. It looks like Big J. It's gonna be. All I have to say is, all I have to say is, our partner is going to shock the world because he is none other than the Shock Master. Yes, <laughs> his voice hasn't started yet. You see him. You see him he's motioning wrong, with his motioning. hands. Yeah. He, his, but his voice didn't start yet. The guy behind stage isn't talking yet. Right. So he's just motioning like he's talking, like he's a mime. But the worst is none of them said you fell through the wall, <laughs> right. Shockmaster. They're right. still acting like you all. Good. I'm yeah. actually impressed with this guy to be able to yell without laughing. Because Sid stinks. He sucks. Like, he's so bad. He probably didn't know. He, it's the... <laughs> with a he belt. has no muscles at all. He's terrible. <laughs> he's got a the muscle shock top. producer. <laughs> He's got on tight gap jeans. Yeah. I oh, have to have my stomach stapled. I keep breaking the wall and falling. <laughs> I, just, I wish we could hear the audio better, but... Oh, yes. is that fucking I was funny. trying to nail a Foundry logo to the wall. Holy shit. Oh. I'll pummel you with how cupcakes are made DVDs. <laughs> And you got, he fell, and this is the thing too, if you, if you see, you get, he fell, no hands on his head, like, flat on his fucking, fucking stupid helmet, and his helmet went falling, he's gut down on the fucking floor like a fish. He felt like a guy with a sand pail on his head. Oh. <laughs> With no stopping himself. But, dude, when he puts the helmet back on, I love the fact that as he's standing there, he has to wipe the ground dirt off his head. Yeah, like sheetrock <laughs> dust and ground dirt. And, and look, at staying his bad. All I have to say is, he's calming everybody down. Here's the moment. All I have to say is, our partner's going to shock, shock the world. The world. That there guy it fucking... An explode, oh it was an God. explosion. <laughs> yeah, a big pyro. And, and the pyro was off timing. <laughs> it was wall. a disaster. It was a disaster. <laughs> <laughs> it was it's so bad. Right. Yeah. I got to see it again, does, please. Does We're he ready. ever get to uh, talk? Yo, oh, yeah. Do you want to oh, hear him? Yes. Yes. Why did he think this guy was going to... It's really hard to hear. <laughs> the whole outfit, everything. Even he if does, it wasn't a mistake. Yeah, he doesn't have uh, a good body. That terrible helmet. Oh. Shock that stinks. All I have to say is, all I have to say <laughs> is, is, my is. partner is going to shock the world because he is none other than... <laughs> Wait, stop it, stop it, stop it, stop it, stop it. Stop it, I'm sorry. You got to understand, too, if you... This was Sid Vicious yeah. and the Harlem Heat 
and they were beating up a uh, British bulldog and Sting for like months. <laughs> right. And this is the guy who <laughs> that is going to match the intensity These are the of top, the three guys. The top bad guys in the company versus the top good guys. And they had no one with them. And they so need they someone, someone to someone. save the day. And this is the guy they fucking got <laughs> to stop the, the brutal onslaught that Holy shit. endurance for the last month and a half. I would love to know what they're, what, like, what is the Shockmaster thinking after his helmet goes on? He's like, I just fell through the wall. <laughs> How humiliating is this? His big moment that he falls into the wall. <laughs> Oh, I wish hey. I could see that from behind him. Oh, oh, <laughs> yeah. Sam, oh, yeah. Rick, Rick Flair's, oh, God. Yeah. <laughs> it's oh. the best. Oh, uh, someone God. tweeted that they made fun of this on Raw recently. Yeah. Oh, they we get it with the clip. I can get you the clip right here. <laughs> All right, good. Yeah, supposedly th they went real inside and made fun of this <laughs> clip on Raw. The, it's less than a year time. ago. It's an less than a year, less than a year ago. All right, All right here's one more from the <laughs> Shockmaster. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, he just fell. There's no two by four there. He just fell. <laughs> Everybody, man. <laughs> we got to let him Oh, wait a here. minute. Wait a minute. This is what he's doing. He's waiting for that guy to start talking, yeah. and when he yells, he thinks it's his voice. So he's actually yes. pantomiming the guy who's yelling at him. He thinks that it's his vo his uh, uh, backstage voice guy, but it's not. It's the guy that's yelling at him. And he can't even, he can't even pantomime. <laughs> the only... It's this five seconds, which seems like a million years, where everyone... Is collecting themselves <laughs> to pretend that shit did that. The audience, the Ric Flair, the Shockmaster, everybody went, holy Dude, shit. His helmet's so discombobulated <laughs> that he thinks what he's hearing is what he's supposed to be saying. Dude, they're Dude, all. It, but it, it's it literally not... is a, a, a stormtrooper helmet. He got that yes. at a Halloween yes. store. Yes. yes, yes. It's not an exaggeration, it's, it's a the stormtrooper. Stormtrooper helmet. <laughs> With glitter on And then he went to the next alley, got the Captain Caveman yeah, yeah. fur vest, yeah. and kept his jeans I, that he drove to the arena in. I think I heard a better version from the guy that just tweeted me. Hey, man, I, I got I to gotta pick version. up at 945. Oh, I got to go to the airport. You got to go, Bill? Yeah. I, Fuck! Yeah, I got to fly oh, across Bill the Bill Burke came by to say hi, and we appreciate that, Bill. Uh, yeah. He's going back to LA. I, I, will, I will be back uh, next week. Yeah. Next week? Hopefully, yeah. Oh, good. Hopefully. ASAP. Right. Anytime. Well, we'll, Bill will be back on the show next week. All right, Thank you, Mr. Burr. Right, Burr. Keep up the podcast. I'm a big fan, Bill, of the podcast. Take it easy, Bill. There goes Bill. They're all looking and going, the Shockmaster just fell through. They all see the whole gig going down the toilet. Could you go back? Could you go to Shockmaster on Raw just to see if it's a better clip? Shockmaster on Raw is is the is the Shockmaster on Raw like that's that's the when they made fun of him that's not the original Shockmaster clip. they have a, a clip of it though in the beginning just to set it up all right uh, we could go with this that, I just it's wanna, just that the audio is I just a want low. you to hear his promo yeah, now let's go. <laughs> so you're the man that rules the world <laughs> they call me. The Shockmaster. But you just felt you rule the world long enough, Sid Vicious. Get ready. Come on, you want a piece of me? You want a piece of me? Come and get me. Come after me, Sid. I'm ready. Can you pause this? <laughs> I, I, I think... He has a glitter stormtrooper helmet. It's so obvious. But it's on his chest. But it's coming off. It's on his chest. It's coming off. It's, it's on his chest from when he fell. And he's sweating. And he got that fucking stormtrooper helmet. Sparkles all over. I think it's coming And why is... And why is Sid all scared of him? Because he looked all scared. Why didn't he turn around and go, douchebag, Dude, you just fell through the fucking wall. The shock master is a dud. <laughs> and the it, promo is terrible and embarrassing. He was supposed to be this brutal villain. <clears throat> this guy from another planet. Oh, oh my God. With jeans and boots and a yeah, fur vest. Yeah. And, 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 and this yeah. voice. The first thing you see is him falling. 
You want a piece of me? I just oh. fell through the wall. Oh, motherfucker. Fucking A. <laughs> that well, is so funny. Now, what is the setup on this now? Is this from 19 just, uh, or 2009? Yeah, it was a year ago. They made Our fun of Oh, going see? To shock Much better audio. But he doesn't have his promo on this one. Right. None other than the <laughs> Shock Master! Right. The Shock Master! <laughs> I told you. Oh, God. <laughs> Oh, you, you heard yeah. someone say, what did he fall? What did he fall? What did he fall? Did you hear that? Oh, yeah. That low voice just says, what did he fall? That's from backstage. Yeah, that's his backstage voice. Yeah. What did he like fall? <laughs> oh, I love this guy. Mm -hmm. He is none other than the Shaq Master! Right. The Shaq Master! <laughs> I told you. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> I told you. <laughs> it's just so bad. It's everything about is poorly done. So everything. The man that moves me. Oh, this just edited from the original one. To cut Shack out some Master. awkwardness. Oh, yeah. And then... One thing I noticed... Yeah, this is when they... Uh, and then Raw uh, did a spoof on it a year ago. Uh, yeah, because they were putting out what, a... When was the original Shockmaster promo? 1993. Wow. Oh, so the fucking 17... Almost 17 years later, Raw fucking goofed on it. That were, is hilarious. Let's see how they goofed on it. All right. No, but where's that coming from? I don't know. I think, I, think it's, I think it's coming from that wall. Over that wall. <laughs> you know, it sounds like it's coming from over here. Yeah. Hmm. Very What? Oh, whoa! Oh, wow. It's a little... <laughs> oh, big Jim, whoa! The Shockmaster! <laughs> Witness my awesome power! Degeneration X! I will shock you! Where's the... Where's the voice? Where's that voice coming from? I don't know. Yeah. You know what? Sounds like it's coming from right over there. Oh, there it is. <laughs> Some Louis guy with a mic <laughs> just standing backstage. Oh, Louis C.K. Right? Did the crowd? Did... Yeah, did they? Anyone even get it? Do wrestling fans yeah. love the Shockmaster clip? Yeah, oh yeah. yeah. If, if, yeah. You, if yes. you never, it's the, it's. That is out of. I remember control. a lot of laughs I had. And that Shockmaster. <laughs> That's great. And then there with Dusty Rose, who is one, who's probably in the top five, like Mike guys of all time too. Like. It, <sighs> it, it, Dusty and Rip Flair. And Who was the that. best? Was The Rock the best Mike guy? No, not at all. Not probably not even. He might not even been in the top five. Really, oh, man, he was great though. Who he was, was that fantastic? Good. It was the, the Iron guys on the mic. Dusty, Rip Flair. Rip Flair is better than uh, the Roddy Piper. Um, yeah. I might name five. Uh, um, God damn. I'm trying to think. That was a, oh, but the Rock I, was good at making catchphrases. How about yeah. Sergeant Slaughter? <clears throat> no. Nah. Um, oh, uh, Jake the Snake is in, in, in the top in the top five yeah. probably, and um, you know, not the, Rock is not in the top five. He's in the top ten. Stone Cold was probably better on Stone the mic Cold, than the Rock. Stone Cold is, is probably that's the five. Right the Rock there. was just good at making catchphrases, and then he, <laughs> Dusty's, yeah, yeah, Dusty's yeah, yeah, the yeah. best though. Dusty and Flair are are, are, are neck and neck. They're also uh, saying one. They're also one, saying two. Owen Hart had a really good one, really good blooper. Uh, oh, well, yeah, the shit. best blooper of all time. <laughs> oh, but <geez>. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> come on. Oh, that's dude. terrible. No, 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 I'm saying uh, that damn, uh, that goddamn Shockmaster dude. Oh, yeah, that is it's, it's one of the best. <coughs> that is hysterical. I, I like when I'm able to laugh until like I'm actually fucking tears are coming out my eyes. You gonna try that the Owen Hart one? Funny. <laughs> I just recently stopped watching it, like and, and laughing. <laughs> yeah, but yeah. you still watch it with this thing, like wow. <laughs> he went right on his fucking head. It's his the worst thing that could have happened. The worst thing, dude. Right he, there, and and the helmet falling off, <laughs> and he scrambles to put it on, and it's so clumsy. And then he's just standing there trying to be tough. Be tough with all the glitter on his chest. His helmet fell off. <laughs> it's not on YouTube. <laughs> I have to find the audio because I taped it off TV. The Miz, who's like a big star now, sure. One of when he was first in the WWE, they wanted to u they were using him as like a Ryan Seacrest type of host for for stuff. And like one of his first things, he couldn't remember they were having a diva search, and he couldn't remember what number to text in and what number to call in. And he started looking at his hand for the number, and his hand started sweating. <laughs> and he just goes over, call, uh, text. Uh, it's the greatest. No, no, no skills. Let's see if the Owen Hart's good. Yeah, it's quick. I don't need you with a bad leg doing a Brent. You're too damn selfish, and that's why you're sitting there with a bad leg, and that's why I kicked your leg out of your leg. <laughs> <laughs> I kicked your leg out of your leg. Uh, yeah. Uh, listen, we should break. We got Kevin Smith uh, calling in next.
Cop out is out. On. <laughs> All right, fuck it. Just go. <laughs> There's our blooper go with. Fuck it. Kevin Smith's calling it, right? <laughs> what a gay fucking gimmick. To be the <laughs> ass man. Sing your ass song. It was all the porn star gimmick that they made stop. Yeah. Val Venus. Val Venus. Yeah, right, they made him stop. Right, right. Is he on? Oh, go to Kevin again. Yeah. yeah. Kevin? No, no more porn, no more racial stuff. They stopped all racial shit. Kevin Smith's on the phone. Good morning. Oh, what's up, morning, Kevin? How you doing, man? We're talking about old school wrestling, Kevin. It's been uh, a big topic today. Sorry about uh, making you wait. Me the Superfly Snooker wrestling. Uh, yeah, that era. Yeah. yeah oh yeah, man. Thing. There was. Uh, I feel. I, I was not a big wrestling fan when I was a kid, but my friend Ernie O'Donnell was a huge and Sam Holland, huge wrestling fans. And where we lived in Highlands, just up the hill between Highlands and Atlantic Highlands, there was uh, these apartments. What were they called? The condominiums, Thousand Oaks. I think it was called. Anyway, it was well known that Sergeant Slaughter lived there because of his a camouflage limousine was always spotted. <laughs> Keeping on low so profile. We would uh, get on our bikes and we'd drive up to the Burger King. wasn't too far from that joint. They had just opened fairly recently. So we'd go there, eat like a chicken sandwich, get some Burger King crowns, then ride back to where we knew Sergeant Slaughter lived, tear up the crowns and spell Gomer on his uh, <laughs> on his doorstep. Could you imagine you're coming home and like you put some stuff together from scratch, your Sergeant Slaughter, and you're, you're you're feeling pretty good about yourself, and some like twelve year olds have written Gomer, <laughs> yeah, on your doorstep. It's so I feel such like such an ass. I apologize, to Sergeant <laughs> Slaughter. It's it's kind of humiliating for him for him, but also it, it's kind of accurate. Like he kind of knows. That's what he is. So it's know, just but you don't need that. Like that'd be like me coming home and somebody used a Burger King crown to spell out "too fat to fly" on my door. <laughs> oh shit! <laughs> don't give people break. ideas. Yeah, it's true. terrible. <laughs> How's everything out there, man? I haven't spoken to you guys in a little bit. It's been a while. Oh, hey, are you going to be? At, uh, what are you doing at Comic Con? Because me and Sam are going to be out there, and um, we think by the time you're 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 going to actually be doing something, we'll be on planes coming home. <laughs> um, I've got. I've got something on Thursday morning. There's a Batman panel for this book that I've been working on with my friend Walter. And then um, Friday night, there's a party for the sneaker company. Etnies is releasing sneakers based okay. on me or my flicks or whatever. So we're having a big party Friday oh. night. And Saturday night, there's a big panel that I do every year in the... Um, in the in the hall H, the six thousand seater. So I'm around. What the, when are you there till? Well, Saturday night is probably a really good one. What time is that? <laughs> that is the seven fifteen is the panel, and then after that panel, Jimmy, man, you should stick around, dude, because nobody else can be there except me. They're doing a screening of uh, the, the Blu-ray version of Cop Out that has like tons of extra footage in it. I would love oh, to, shit. but we'll be on a plane coming home. You We're taking the red eye after. home. Yeah, they figured why stay the Saturday night. I feel you. I At Comic-Con. Uh, we yeah, wanted to stay. Yeah. Well, Saturday, Saturday night, I've got that panel at like 7.15 in, in Hall 8. That's the big, the big, big room. And then it ends at around it's an hour and a half or something like that. So when that's over, i got a little time between that and the cop-out screening. If you guys are racing off or just any time on Saturday, you let me know. Oh, we'll try on Saturday because we'll be gone by then. They are uh because they want to save four hundred dollars. Yeah, out at yeah. Comic Con all weekend with the other kids and shit. He'd like to, but the company decides, you know. Yeah, they figure they get us out of the hotel money. real fast and just, you know, a little too much money to <laughs> pay for another day in a, in a yeah. hotel. Yeah, too much money to do it properly. Uh, Everybody's nice. going down this year, man. A lot of radio stations going down. I guess it's become officially an event that the United States acknowledges is accepting <laughs> now, and not just some geeky fucking, right. you know. Oh, here's some autograph guys. <laughs> I like. Sure, I like when. Uh, yeah, it, this is not now. It's not just a place to see Lou Ferrigno. Now you can do a lot of things. My absolute favorites are the uh, like the woman that was in the elevator for room for one more honey in the Twilight Zone. <laughs> you know, in the room for one more honey episode of Twilight right. Zone. <laughs> and she got a table. Yeah, she's got like a table <laughs> sign and shit. Really? Like, wow, you're the you're you're her, huh? <laughs> I've yeah. always kind of back pocketed that the the table thing. You know, like we we we've sold merchandise for years, and some of it is signed, but I've never gone to a con and charged for autographs yet. I've always felt like I'm gonna hold that for when people don't care at all. <laughs> That'll be my last stop before I'm like, all right, I guess it's time to get a real job again. <laughs> oh shit. There, what about uh? Where's Billy Moomy been? <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. 
He was in a band at one point, like a band full of comic book dudes. Like, really? Within the comic book community was kind of well known, yeah. In the comic book community, to be that in a before, band that's that well known by the comic started, book community. That was before they started putting comic books on the cover of Entertainment Weekly and stuff, though. That was when, like, if you were doing well with a girl, and then you were like, hey, man, you want to do a comic book show with me? And then she started blowing somebody else. <laughs> Yeah, is it is it is it like um, with comic books now? Like people go like, oh well, you just got into it. You're a new fanboy, and you know, well, of course, yeah, everybody's there's, into. There's it. always been that. I mean, I, I think I said it one year at the comic con. It's like it's the place. San Diego Comic Con is a place you go where, like, you know, you could be dressed like Chewbacca. <laughs> and then you see some people dressed like Vulcans, and you're like, "Look at those fucking nerds!" <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's, just, it's a lot of a lot of uh, no, not self-loathing, but because you just loathe other fans, I guess. So there's always been that innate jealousy kind of built in. Now that you explode the con, make it even bigger, there seems to be a bit more irritability. Like last year was the first year I think that all the Twilight kids started invading the con. Twilight yeah, yeah. had a so you got a lot of vampires. Con. Yeah, oh, and they got so upset. Like, and I was like, they're girls, man. For the first time, we have girls. <laughs> <laughs> you lighten up, Don't dummy. Chase the girls away. And, uh, you know, they're like, but they're only tween girls. I'm like, yes, but they have mothers. <laughs> and, and, you know, they all want, they all want to hurt their husbands for making them take the kids to Comic Con without them. <laughs> so the best chance to get laid, man, is a Comic Con bathroom, I think, do, or a parking lot. Do they have a lot of, uh, I've never been to this one, I've been to a couple of smaller ones. Is there like a lot of like of those weird celebrities at tables at this one? This is like the big this one, right? This one's a little oh, yeah. pricier to get into. You know what I'm saying? So it's like it's gonna immediately kind of uh, limit the amount of people that are gonna want to sign up for those signing gigs, just because the table space is pretty pricey at that San Diego Comic is like I don't know eight hundred to a thousand bucks at one point to get a table for a day. Wow! For a day? Wow! So, so I think that eliminates a lot of people who is like, you know, uh, you know, Bounty Hunter number eight and Empire Strikes Back. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. But, I, but uh, you'll still get tons of cats out there, you know, because that's where a lot of people make their nut for the year because you have, you know, over 100,000 people closing in on 200,000 people. So you're more um, likely to get an Isaac the bartender um, from uh, The Love Boat. I, I don't know Some about of that there, cal man. caliber. I think, that, yeah, I think you would see that more kind of like uh, there's a... <laughs> The Wizard World comic book show does a lot of, of autograph signings now. So maybe you'd see Isaac there. But the, the San Diego Comic Con's kind of place where you'd see, like, um, what's her face? Angelina Jolie promoting salt. Really? Like, how many yeah, of these have you been to, Kevin? The last few years, man, down. like, it's crazy how many famous Fuck. people have turned out. Like, there was one year I was on that con stage, and it was like um, three people who had won Academy Awards were up there before me. Jesus. And then the they fuck? all come out now. Everybody comes out and kisses the ring. I mean, I think Anthony Hopkins is coming down for, for Thor. What, this Hopkins, this year, dude. It's huge. What? what? Just, they, they all come now because the, the the it's not just the genre stuff. Like anything mm -hmm. that's kind of remotely summer movie oriented, kind of previews here and whatnot. Like I go every night on Saturday H. I kind of close out the evening and just do regular Q and A. But I'm the only one on Saturday that's in the hall. That's not a studio. Every every hour, two hours, it's studio presentations. It's like Marvel Studios, Warner Brothers Studios, and they bring all their clips and they bring out really famous people. Wait, this is, what, now when does this happen? That where all the famous people come out? It started happening probably like within the last eight years, hardcore. No, but what day though? What's that? What day does this happen? Like what night is this? Uh, Saturday. You'll see a lot of that. Saturday in Hall H is the presentation. Like uh, all the studios make their presentations on Saturday night. All Saturday long in, in okay. that hall. So the place for you to be, man, would be like backstage because that's where everybody comes in and out. If there's an elevator there and whatnot. Mm -hmm. I don't know if we'll be able to get back Ooh, there. Jimmy. I don't know if we have that access. The access? Uh, do we, we have? Who knows? We, 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 not right, we, now. Hey, not right now. We don't. No, bye. Bye. Can I? Can I go back to Bill Mooney? Yeah, man. I just realized. Someone helped me out, and then I had to Google it. He did fish heads. Yeah, oh, yeah. I didn't involved. fucking know that. The yeah. band was called Barnes and Barnes, right? Part of that group that did fish. Yeah, I've always. Fish heads. 
I yeah, that was really, that was little Billy Moomy. I had no fucking idea until right now. I learned something today. You're a bad man. I always try to figure out who <laughs> did that song. And, it, and you it's, were all uh, dismissive of Bill Moomy. Meanwhile, this dude gets more pussy than you've ever gotten. Oh yeah, uh, well, I don't doubt what it. What about the second plates, dude? It ain't. It wasn't just lost in space. Bill Moomy was like, "Fuck you, fish heads." That's my second. All right, <laughs> listen. We know fish heads. What was the second most popular song that he did? Second well, most popular? Yeah. Lucy and Ramona and Sunset Sam. There you go. That was a real guess, man. <laughs> <laughs> that was Michael Nesmith, actually. You I know who Michael Nesmith was, right? Of course, yeah. But that yeah. dude didn't even need music to get rich. He, his, what was his mom invented? Um, Whiteout. Whiteout. Yeah, but that fortune's yeah, got to be gone in this day and age. You think so? Yeah, who uses fucking Whiteout anymore for anything? Well, they probably point, went into man. other areas, though, eh? Michael Nesmith is just like, no! <laughs> yeah, <laughs> fuck, my <laughs> fortune is going away in the digital age! The computer is evil! How will I buy you? <laughs> <laughs> new wool hats. I need to know the follow up to fish heads now. I really need to know. Somebody's got to know or Google it, man. It's going to be a, a major drop off. Bill Moomy was in the uh, remake of uh, Lost in Space uh, at the, the end. Name, what was the name of the band though, that did fish heads? It was something in some Barnes and Barnes. Yeah, I had to look that up. It was Barnes and Barnes, 1979. Yeah. How you doing, Opie? Can't kill Bonds. I'm, I'm, I'm good. But... I'm a big fan of Opie's eye feature. Whoa. Kevin well. Smith saying. Uh, you know what? You can now put that in quotes. You can now put that in quotes. I'm a Twitter creature, dude. I'm going to fucking put that in quotes right on everything I do now. Put it on quotes, uh, Kevin Smith. Kevin, I uh, became a father, so I'm in a different world right now. Get the fuck out of here. When was that? Uh, well, not that big of a fan of my Twitter, I guess. <laughs> no, just fine with you. Well, apparently you're not taking many pictures of a kid on open No, no, no. I'm, uh, he's, a, he's a civilian. He's dumbass shit. Like, look at this baseball field. Yeah, no, he's a civilian. I know, you're right. <laughs> Uh, You're keeping him out the Twitter camera and shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's Good he's call. he's a private thing, but um. Uh, thing. <laughs> well, you know, That's everything thing. else is. No, I feel it was just funny term. Uh, 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 Mother's Day, yeah. became a father, so a little over two yeah, months ago. Man. That's the absolute first. Yeah, yeah, that I know of. <laughs> that, that old gag. It's great though. It's uh, these guys get bored when I talk father shit. So, but uh, there, did you cut the cord? You pull it out and all that. Yeah, I didn't want to cut the cord. It was like I don't need to fucking cut the cord. But then when you do cut the cord, you realize it's some kind of weird ligament thing that you can't cut through easily. I know every dude says that because they tell you like they give you a big pair of scissors like go ahead one cut. And you try, and we're just not used to cutting. No, it's like meat. cutting grizzle or something. Like a, it's right. like a bolt cutter, so you can it just. It is. It's weird. Like, it. and you go for it, and like I, I tried to do it in one, and only got half of it. And the doctor, who was a chick, looked at me like you puss. <laughs> <laughs> you suck. So I started gnawing on it with my teeth. I was like, I got it. Yeah, <laughs> old school. And I got to congratulate uh, Kevin's devils because. Uh... I got a big one yesterday. Big, big. It's so you know how big it is on the internet. This is how you can tell, dude. Every Devils fan in the world excited. Every other hockey fan like, Pete didn't help you in the playoffs. Yeah. <laughs> Sour grapes. What's his That's name? A huge score for us, man. Uncle Lou actually paying for a star and for a name. Seventeen years. Come on, that's huge. Seventeen years, one hundred and two million dollars. Mm -hmm. for... He'll be there till he's what, forty two, forty four. Fuck. In Devils. these days, but I mean, what? I mean, come on, sports contract, seventeen years. It's like. That's Jesus. charming, but, like, does anybody really think he'll be there for 17? 17 Let me, years? Come on. I'll talk hockey with Kevin for a second. It worked for us, our Islanders, and DiPietro. Uh, <laughs> when he true, signed that true. big fucking deal. Holy to, shit. To fucking be on the DL. He's played, like, five games in three years, yeah. something crazy like that. He's... Yeah, we got to hope that we're not kind of overpaying. But, I, but if I keep being assured by people who, like, really know hockey who are like, hey, man, don't judge him on his playoffs performance. Dude was having a kid, and he's not a playoffs player. Like, this guy is, he's a 50 goal scorer, man. He's just like, you got to put him out there during the season. That's when he's going to shine. It's a fucking animal, and the devil's got him for 17 years. Jesus. That's nice. It's, it's a brand. Can you feel a brand new day? <laughs> 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 the end of the There's a bunch of black people dancing for us. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to be amazing. It's like, see, that doesn't happen to the devils normally. It, it looked like he was within country or going to the fucking Kings. And it was like, well, of course he's going to go to the Kings. Because they'll fucking spend. Now Jersey's got a star, man. That's kind of cool. That is very cool for you guys. And he can play right next to fucking Zach Parise. Zach Parise's got somebody to pass to like crazy. Unfortunately for the Devils, no one really seems to give a shit when they win. <laughs> the, uh, <laughs> like the cup. 
You know, it's, it's not like the, I know we got like when the Rangers up. win, they got a parade and everything. That, well, well, no, 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 no. People care, but there's nowhere to put a fucking parade. Yeah, that's so the that's, problem. That's just it. It's How do you like, compete yeah, with the Canyon of Heroes? We were playing at the Meadowlands. This time we play in Newark. There'd be a parade in Newark. Yeah, that's true. They yeah. had to go around the parking lot or something. Yeah, I think yeah, if yeah, I remember. Yeah, so much shit for that parking lot parade. How many armored? How many armored personnel carriers does it take to cart a team around Newark? Newark's better. Shut up. Newark's a little better. Shut right, Kevin? Yeah, it's, clean, it's cleaner and safer. Oh, is it's it? actually talking up <laughs> okay. the, the devils into the rock it's about terrible. holding a, uh, a street hockey tournament outside in Newark on the streets around the rock, closing off the streets, setting up these courts, and then having this tournament be outside. You see, that would be cool. Right? Right yeah. in Newark, man. Bring a hockey that. stick to a gunfight. Cool. <laughs> you're fucking safe. You're out of your mind, man. It's like any place else in the world. It's like the town I came from, man. It's like there's a the section you want to be in, a section maybe a little careful, but more careful around. Yeah. It's like any place else. All right. Well, then Camden. What's the good place in Camden? Camden's got that zoo, man. The aquarium. See, he had an answer for you. It's just the aquarium because, is really just because those yeah, people don't swim. It's the, it may be terrifying Jump in the water. The aquarium, uh. But the aquarium is nice. they got penguins. <laughs> they got penguins. Make sure you, <laughs> and the penguins are still alive. Make sure your GPS is working properly when you go through Camden. Because <laughs> one or two wrong turns, and it is a different world. Uh, uh, doc said of every place. Uh, uh, yeah. Doctor Steve coming in with the follow up to Fish Heads by Barnes and Barnes was party in my pants by Barnes and Barnes follow up wow. to Fish Heads. That bum sent me the same text. Yes, Doctor Steve. Wait a minute, my phone's blinking too. Doctor Steve, this needy fuck. I actually <laughs> have the record. He sends us all the yes, same the text. Same text. Oh, you guys also getting Valtrex? <laughs> <laughs> oh no, my text is great news. You could activate a credit card. Thanks. Oh, you got junk mail? Yep. <laughs> How do so you get we? junk text? <laughs> yeah, so do we. Exactly. I, 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 Can we hear, like, just, I don't know, 30 seconds of Party in My Pants? The, yeah, uh, man. And let's all be honest. It, it, have we heard this song before? Uh, Billy Moomy. There's a party in my pants and I want you all to come. I have not. <laughs> that's all you give him. We're not wasting Kevin Smith time for that well, you nonsense. you got to figure that's like, what, 1982, 81, maybe yeah, 79. That's, that's a long time ago. That's, uh, yeah, that's but... That's groundbreaking then, dude. Party in my pants? Come on. It's a big drop-off from fish heads, fish heads, roly-poly fish heads. It's true. Well, fish heads was just so, like, out there where people were like, hey, man, did you see that fish head song? Plus, it was one of the original videos. Yeah, one of the it's original in the rotation. MTV and whatnot. You were all stoned. Fish heads was in 79. 79. Yeah. yeah. Long be that's two oh, years turn that the up. launch of MTV. Turn that up a little bit. This is creepy, too. Like, like the Fish Heads video was creepy. Maybe I was really stoned, too, watching it. This is the kind of thing you used to watch on, um, what was it called? Um, Night Flight. Yeah, yeah. Play all these weird fucking... This is like a strange... They had to do the really long intro yep. for a novelty song? Yeah. Let's get into it. But they did have to. For a novelty song. It, it is a novelty song. Well, it was kind of like a little movie. Why are you laughing at that? Like he'd walk and then he <laughs> saw the fish the head. term used, man. Novelty song makes me think of like, hello, <laughs> we're talking to Mr. Jobs. And they play music. <laughs> that was Kevin, funny. don't make fun. It's one of our best bits ever. Oh, Making fun of that please. guy. What's we his love name? Him. Dickie, uh, Goodman. Dickie Goodman. The, the late, that. great Dickie Goodman. Yeah. Here it is. Now the guy goes into the fish store. Well, it's a minute it's into black the song. And white. They still haven't played. It's creepy. Experimental film, man. This is very yeah, um, 1979. Imagine David Lynch looking. Seeing this for the first time. It's very David Lynch uh, eraser headish. Right. Which is really fucking creepy. Right, we're like a minute thirty. The movie into this. scares me. With not a note played yet. Being nightmare. <laughs> yeah. Walking my warehouse. Well, he got the fish head. He went to the fish store. What's I the understand matter? that. But it's what building. It, yeah. The story's building. I'm rolling all in. My pulls it out of his uh they bury the lead in this video yeah <laughs> <laughs> uh, now we got drunk drinking um, what is this come on he's looking around a corner and now we'll see dodgers cap on yeah this is halfway over <laughs> and, and not nary a fish head vocal to be heard we're all getting Are uncomfortable sure the one? yeah yeah I, I i think so all right, so he, he's talking to a... Oh. oh, he's looking at a homeless guy. This is very artistic. Is he opening up his he's fish opening head up sandwich? The fish head. Now oh. it goes to some animation. OK. 
Okay, it's look, go, go, looking All right, very doing a, it's take doing, on me. Yeah, it's doing a little aha thing. This is where the video used to start. Fish heads, fish heads, roly poly fish. I want to hear the vocal. Fish heads, fish heads, eat them up, yum. Fish heads, fish heads, roly poly fish heads, fish heads. He's at his own little party with the fish heads. I don't get it. In the morning, laughing happy fish heads. In the evening, floating in the soup. Uh, what did they do? Huh? It was huge, though. It was. Again, like it's like you can't get your head around it if you were born in the last ten, twenty years. But, <laughs> yeah. But imagine being, uh, imagine being like nine, ten, nine to thirteen years old in 1979, and you see that clip for the first time. You've never seen anything like it. Normally on TV, you'd be forced to watch Lawrence Welk with your grandparents. <laughs> the wonderful world of Disney. Were, they were just starting to get cable, and all of a sudden you started seeing stuff like this, and you were like, "What is it?" It was very freaky. Yeah. Imagine watching yeah. that two in the morning by yourself while your parents are sleeping. Yeah. That was like the first time I saw that, and I was, like, excited and confused and terrified. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. But that's exactly it. He's right. You used to have to watch, like, your parents' shows. You'd sit there and watch, um, like, you know. I was going to go laughing, too. Well, that's older. I, I just didn't feel like dating myself. Wonderful World of Disney and then Jacques Cousteau. Sure. <laughs> uh, fucking Jacques Cousteau or uh, Mutual of Omaha. Wild, Wild Kingdom. Kingdom. Yes. Yeah, we used to watch all those goddamn shows. Yeah, well, that you was like a father who liked country music. There was a lot of hee-haw in our house. Hee-haw, yep. I used to have to watch hee-haw with Buck Owens. Buck Owens and Roy Clark. Yeah. Hee-haw-haw. Hee-haw-haw. <laughs> and, and, and you only had one television, so it wasn't like you could just go to your room and watch whatever you wanted. You could you were go to your screwed. room and you could look out the window. <laughs> yeah, that's it. Isn't that, isn't that weird? Like, you have a childhood where you could tell people now, like, in my day, we were we looked out the window. <laughs> Is there any much what I was watching outside? <laughs> yeah, it was, look as a bird. <laughs> hey, what's this, uh, the 40th birthday show you're doing Monday, August 2nd? It's the Count Basie. Well, it's a, the big birthday theater, yeah. coming up for Kevin Smith. I turned 40, so I'm going to do it on stage, and we're uh, shooting it for um, oh, cool. the next like Q and A, but this one, like normally, we shoot them for DVD. But this one is going on. There's a channel called Epics that does. Um, I think they did. They just got nominated for an Emmy, I think, for Eddie the last Eddie Izzard special. And there's one. Uh, they did a David Cross. I think a Gene Garofalo or something. And uh, they asked if they want if I wanted to do one. I was like, Yeah, my God, yeah. So this one we're shooting for this channel, and then down the road, like a longer version, I guess maybe would come out or something on DVD. But the one on my birthday, the one that we're shooting on August 2nd at the Count Basie is being shot for TV. So if you come to that show, ba bang, you're on TV. Very cool. Very nice. But that's, And then the next day, I get on a plane and go to Sydney because I sold out the Sydney Opera House, boys. Wow. Whoa. Good for you, man. Thank you. Whoa. Yeah, but that, that was cool. But then they, they were like, hey, man, we can end an extra day. And I was like, all right. And now I'm halfway, or beyond halfway, to selling out a second night at the Sydney Opera House. Yeah. You, Jesus man. Christ. That was a cool thing, man. People seem to know that place. Like, I didn't tell many people until I, one person I told, they were like, the Sydney Opera House? And I was like, yeah, you know it. They're like, it's in Finding Nemo. That's the only that, That's the only place I know that, I don't know, it's where uh, Cal Burnett did her show from live once. Oh, <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> it's always been my dream to get up there and tug on my fucking ear. <laughs> Uh, so, yeah, that's uh, the August 2nd, I guess, as you guys could, is the East Coast area, so cats could come to that. I wouldn't recommend flying to Australia and seeing me. I'll say the same things there that I say here. That's a long yeah, but, flight. But yeah. it is Australia. You it can is check Australia. out some other stuff. So, I gotta buy, I've been on the road a lot, man. I've been. Uh, we took the Smodcast, the podcast, out like live and started doing it, and our friends started a podcast called Tell Them Steve Dave, and now they're taking it out on the road like... Tomorrow night out here in Los Angeles, we're playing the Improv. Me and Mosier, last month, we did our Smodcast live at the Improv and sold it out. It was really fun. Holy so now shit. we're doing it again tomorrow night with uh, for, first our friends do their show, and then we follow and do our show. And then we get out on the road. We go to 
Tempe, Arizona, Las Cruces, New Mexico, Houston, Dallas, and then Columbus, Ohio. That is a fucked up concept. It's Just a great like concept, taking though. a you know what it is, dude? podcast it's, on the road. Simple. It's you guys. It's basically if you guys took the show and just did it on the road. Right. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like it's no. It's like when you do it live in front of people. Same fucking thing. We do a very different show live, though. Oh, because you're feeding off that energy. I love it's, doing it's, it it's weird. Yeah, we it's, haven't done one in a while, but we do uh, like doing it's, it's, them. It's, it's, well, when you guys come out, I opened up a the world's first podcasting theater. It's called Smod Castle. And uh, we, we <laughs> went to the space on Santa Monica Boulevard. You go online, you can probably see pictures of it. It's badass. Done in the colors outside of the Oilers, which to you might read as like the colors of the Islanders. On the inside, all devils, like the carpet's all devils. <laughs> oh, right on. Red and black seats. But anyway, it's only a 50-seat theater. So, like, we have our opening night, official grand opening called Prima Nocta, July 25th. Like, we sold it out. Four different shows. There's live Smodcast, live Tell em, Steve, Dave. Then we're doing this also, the, the show called Highlands, which is just us tracking our youth in our hometown. And then Katie Morgan is doing one called Having Sex with Katie Morgan. And um, all four of them happen that night. And then we record them in front of the audience, and they'll eventually all go up online. So... We've got this whole, like, aside from the podcast we do, like, in the room quietly and whatnot, we've got this whole live component now that we keep adding to it. It's so much fun, dude. But you know, it's like doing your show in front of people. Kevin, you don't even have to tell us. We had that element. We loved it at the old place. And uh -huh. uh, you've been to the old yeah, place. Yeah, yeah, with the audience and whatnot. When we had you the, come we had... out here, as I was saying, when you come out here, you got to play at that spot. Oh, we would love to. From there, we get a room full of 50 people there. and. That'd, That'd be great, be yeah. Broadcast from. We, they didn't understand that that was a great element that we had going on. So when they moved us over to the new building, we, we don't have the live audience anymore. It was cool to meet fans from, at times, all over the world just stopping by and checking out the show. Right. And we forgot about them after a while, but, I'm, you know, because you're trying you to focus should, on doing a radio you guys, show. You, but you, you guys should take it out anyway. Like, you yeah, know how true. musicians, like people <laughs> in bands, they've got the album and, and, you know, most of the record studio takes most of that. But yeah. the real meat is when they go out on the road and tour, man. That's where they get to keep all that money. You guys should, I mean, I know you do the show like five days a week, but you should set aside time, man, because it'll really recharge your batteries to just you three go out to a club, do the same fucking thing. Yeah, yeah, I would probably do. do. They'd probably tell, tell us we can't. Like, you, you know it. You're like, you sit there, and fucking Jimmy knows it, of course, as well. There's a whole different vibe when you're doing it with other people standing there because yeah. you're like, oh, shit, i got to be funny, man. I haven't heard last for me in a while. And so you're jockeying, and it creates a much a, a, a much funnier energy. You, you should do it, man, for yourselves. And plus, you know it would be lucrative. you got an audience that would come out and pay 40 50 bucks a head to see you do it. Well, then um, we're doing it, and and then uh, they'd have to get you know seventy five percent. Yeah, so. the company would take seventy five percent. <laughs> yeah, and we do can't they really. Do they do they encroach on your personal dollars? Uh, they're they're trying to encroach on everything. The second it's anything that is related to Opie and Anthony radio broadcasting, whatever, they they right. they they're like, hey, hello, page nine hundred and thirty six, paragraph twelve. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, uh, I mean, even I mean, even if you're not earning from it, though, it's like consider it promotional. But but more than promotional. Oh, Kevin, don't be the, silly. It's good for the soul of a performer. You guys are performers. You know that. You're not thinking to, like, like a suit. Recharge. Yeah, why don't you think like a suit? Yeah, come on. No, this you're, is you're, way you're, too logical. Yeah. yeah. Go to a fucking room and don't look out any windows that you don't have. <laughs> exactly. So too logical. Depressing little room. <laughs> the old one was good. It had little bleacher section and shit. Yeah, yeah. a little this portholes. Is very like I remember you guys brought me in there. I was like, are you being punished again? We might as well be in the middle of the building. Like you know, this, this <laughs> is no kind of, no natural light. We're, nothing. We're, you're like you're landlocked as Iowa. Man. Yes. It, it, it speaks volumes that you you set up. All all these studios, you're on the 40th floor in Times Square, and there's no windows. And we can't see the wonderfulness of New York City. Wouldn't you uh, feed off the vibe of being way up in the clouds in Times Square be when nice. you're doing a radio show? But That's someone true. thought that was a dumb idea. But yeah, whatever. Get out, you you got to get out there and touch the people. Yeah, man, it's been a while. Hey, uh, the... <laughs> yeah, man, it's been a while. Yeah, man, it's it, been it a while. has. Uh, no, I'm, I'm trying to slightly move on because I want your take on the Mel Gibson tapes. And the only reason I ask you this is because yeah, a yeah. brand new tape just hit. Which is it? We haven't heard it yet. It's, it was just delivered to me. How, tape how number many six? fucking tapes? This, this dude is like, uh, like, like Tupac with the amount of, <laughs> <laughs> the amount yeah. of recordings that have been. He's like Prince. He's got a vault. He just can't, eight. can't stop. I, I think they were all, obviously they were all made, uh, 
around the beforehand and then cut up and sure. dished out at whatever oh, yeah. of course. time. You of know? course. Well, Radar Online, they were really smart. They knew they had gold, and they, they were thinking, why put a 30-minute tape out when we could just give them pieces yep. at a time? Here's the thing, man. People are like, oh, you got to learn that. That'll teach them. Don't talk on the phone like that. It's like, never mind talking on the phone. Just don't talk like that, period. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it's like, you know, you don't, you can't live your life going, oh, if I don't talk like that on the phone, they'll never catch me. It's like, they'll never catch you if you're not a fucking animal. <laughs> you know, he they don't just talk like that is, anyway. He's enraged. Apparently, man. He's enraged. Anybody ever do anything to piss you off that much where you're like, I hope you get raped. Or We've talked. you get raped, but I wouldn't be surprised if you got raped. We've talked about that, and I think a lot of people have said they've been, like, I personally have been that angry there's no way i could say i haven't been that angry but i've never released it like that and taken it out on somebody and just yelled have. shit like here's that me, ever. ever i have ever. here's what we should all say i've been that angry and i've never had the moral courage <laughs> that mel has just to say it <laughs> mel has committed the crime of being a hundred percent honest <laughs> i'm gonna ask jimmy something did you sure. just get a picture with selena gomez i did yeah oh fuck yeah yeah are you team selena kevin let me say what, what, of the who of the which two teams? Uh, well, you got Selena Gomez, Team non pederast uh, <laughs> and, and Miley Cyrus. I guess are the big two. Well, are those and are, is their team because at one zoom. point they were fighting, or just because which one do I find more attractive? Exactly, which one uh, you find more attractive? I, I don't know. I got a I got an eleven year old daughter who's <laughs> too close to all of them, so uh, I, don't, I don't. So you're out of this argument. She took two pictures, really. me and an eight year old. There was a little girl waiting. And Liam, is, he's like, Jim, you want to... I'm like, let her go. I had to let the kid go first. Aww. I would have been too cute. How hot does she look in person? She's very cute in person. Uh, she's I don't know pretty, how old she is. I, she's think too, she's, I think she's getting up there finally. She looks young, though. It's not. She still looks young? I don't think she's sexy. Oh, that sucks. I don't mind that, but it's like, it's not... She hasn't done it. Just turned 18, Jimmy. Yeah. Boo. Oh. Who did? Uh, Selena, <laughs> so we could talk openly about her now. The Wizards of Waverly Place. That's right. She That's just right. turned 18? Yeah. She watches she, those shows. Yeah, fair game. You watch those shows? I've seen a few of them. I got a kid. You know, I've seen a few episodes of Wizards of Waverly. You know, I've seen the Wizards of Waverly Place movie. You know what? They're not that bad, Kevin. What, the shows? They're not that bad. No, no, no. Oh, I mean, shit. look, trust me. I've had to watch a lot of kids' programs for the last 10, 11 years. If, yeah. You start to appreciate the ones that actually try. If yeah. Opie starts coming in here <laughs> praising Baby Einstein, I'm going to smack him in the head. Baby my kid's Einstein not watching this. I'm watching Baby this Einstein shit. Raise my kid. Really? Uh, yeah. yeah. Yeah, I, I've Julie seen... Anger Clark, this chick who came up with the concept of like shooting toys and putting it to classical music, and you pop a kid in front of it and they're just magnetized. It's amazing. Food. My kid's watching TV already, two months old. Yeah, it, it's amazing hey, what they've come up with. They have a Radiohead baby uh, fucking thing I hear. That yeah, I want to really? check out. Yeah, well, show that kid fish heads, man. Give yeah, them fish heads. Reality. You want show him some fucking tool videos? Will <laughs> 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 freak him out. All right, Kevin, give me some advice on being a parent. One thing. Um, One thing. What do you got, girl or boy? Boy. Uh, well, One thing. Um, let me see. One tip. Uh, Something. You're supposed to wipe from front to back. <laughs> really? Uh, Why is that? Because if you're wiping from back to front, you're wiping shit onto his balls. There's nothing stranger ah. than lifting up your kid's balls to fucking wipe oh, the shit properly God, when, when they're 18. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I'm lifting up his tiny little fucking ball sack to make sure he's been wiped properly. Oh, yeah, it's really I'll bizarre. Thank you later, though. Yeah, exactly. I, I have so. shit on his balls. I... You're an old man, when you guys are tumbling on the front lawn, crashing through the screen door, fighting, you like, oh, I lifted your balls when you were a baby. <laughs> Fuck you, man. I wiped shit off of your Vaz Deverins. <laughs> you don't understand. Stand me, Dad! <laughs> Your taint don't smell because of me, boy! <laughs> <laughs> Fucking Kevin, right on. I don't know. So, I, I don't know. We, to Mel Gibson, man. You want to hear it? I, I didn't know if you wanted to go or not. Oh, yeah, I'd love to. No, I, I would love to hear it. All right, let's go, then. It's the Mel Gibson. Tape number six has just arrived. So. Oh, no. Oh, you don't, I got to hear know. it. I have to leave because I have a flight to catch, but I got to hear the new Mel Gibson tape. Where's everyone Jimmy, going? Where are you going? I got to go to L.A. I got to go to L.A. and then San Diego. Um, all right, man. You find me while you're in San Diego, though. Yeah, yeah, I'll call you. Sweet. And then I'd love to see him. And then I want to talk about Cop Out uh, on, on Blu-ray, of course. That's why Blu-ray. There's more Jimmy on that Cop Out. Yeah. Is there really? Yeah, yeah, what? yeah, there's all the stuff we did. That, Dude, I, I mean, I want to plug it, but I got it. Cause plug it. it. Sure. Go. Plug it, man. I don't plug it because it's like, buy it because the movie... What they did is nothing short of astounding. They took, well, that oversells it like a cure for cancer. <laughs> but they rein it in. What they've done is really cool. They took the movie and they 
basically did a, a Q and A. Like I just sat in front of cameras and did a running commentary for the whole movie, as if I was playing to an audience. Then they incorporate me with the footage. Then they take all the cut footage we didn't use and reincorporate that. So I'll be like, let's look at this. We fucked this up. Let me show you how we fixed it. Holy shit. It is. And, and so the, all the, it's like having all your deleted scenes and commentary track and the movie itself mixed into one. And it's this three-hour experience. So if you hated Cop Out, it's like double the length. <laughs> but, but even if you hated it, I think like you would like this because like it's me sitting there making fun of the movie for like an what? hour and a half. And it shows you behind the scenes. It, I've never seen anything like it. It was fucking dope. So if it, it's only on Blu-ray. I'm not a big fan of commentary. You just sold it. Now i got to check that out. Oh, I'm I, telling you, dude, it's worth it. Like, it yeah. begins with me on the logo. They put me on that little uh, on the Warner Brothers logo, and then they stretch <laughs> me out. A lot of fat jokes because I taped it right after the Southwest thing. Um, it, it's 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 really entertaining. I gotta say that much. It's, it's it, even if it, even if you like Cop Out, I think this is more entertaining than Cop Out because it shows you everything that we took out. All the cut stuff is in there and not reincorporated. It's just like we'll sit there and be like, check this out. Here's five different ones. All right, back into the movie. It's fun. And, and you got uh, more Jimmy and uh, hopefully more, more Jimmy, man. more, so Jimmy, more Gooder. Jimmy did and every all the, the Jimmy. We've got some Jimmy outtakes and every uh, line variation that Jimmy did, so you get to see more of. Right. Oh, you no. intimidating Bruce Willis as an actor. Do I look humiliated? Am I, am I going to humiliate myself? Yeah, I you were fucking convincing as hell, dude. I, was, I told you. I was very impressed. Like, you, you didn't just get in there and be like, you know, I'm a friend of Kevin, so don't worry about this. I'll just do what I do. He, he was convincing. You played that squealy little, like, hey, I'll tell you, I'll tell you. You played that perfectly. <laughs> Thank you. I was a great w weasel. Great little I weasel. You, man, I got the, the role Jimmy's going to play. You know, I'm writing a hockey movie, and that's not next. Next is Red State, which we start shooting uh, at the end of uh, August. But after that, I went to this hockey movie, and I'm writing a part for Jimmy on one of the teams. He's going to play a, a, a goalie um, who um, can't keep it in. He's got a nauseous, nauseous stomach. Nice guy, but he's constantly <laughs> vomiting during the game. Oh, that's great. Totally. He gets nervous. <laughs> And it's in the seventies, so we're gonna have like circus seventies Jimmy. So you'll have hair. <laughs> yeah, he's gonna have to have some weird. Side I, do, I would burns. love to grow hair sideburns. Some we'll one of those like the slick down haircut that my father used to have. <laughs> nice. Hey, Sean William Scott, you got some extra footage of him too, hopefully. Totally, and oh, he good. pops up in and out of the thing. I'm, I can't honestly like I, I'm never the guy that's just like, hey man, this shit's good, you should try it. But this shit's good, you should try it. Like the MCM version of the Blu-ray is really, really. It's entertaining. They found a way to make the movie even better. I wish we'd released that version of the movie. I'm absolutely going to check it out. And I liked Cop Out. Yeah, it's fun. I, I think the movie's fun. Like, you know, critics really fucking beat the shit out of it. But uh, I'm telling you, man, it's, it's like I'm, I'm on Twitter a lot, and I see a lot of people on Twitter, lots of people, and there's lots of love for Cop Out. There's definitely some people who are like, fuck you, it's terrible. But people really dug them. That's what I dig about Twitter, man. Like, People don't create the truth for you anymore. Mm -hmm. Like you used to believe what somebody write about you and, and be like, oh, I guess this is true because this one jackass wrote it. Mm -hmm. You just go to Twitter, <laughs> man. People like tell you the truth, set you straight. I've actually never seen Cop. I watched it at your house, The Rough Cut, but much like Spencer Tracy, I don't watch my own work. <laughs> You're one of those dudes. That, you like Matt Damon, dude. He's the same way. I don't, I don't understand Jimmy. He's fortunate enough to be in these movies, and he never sees it. Because I don't look at it like... so weird. Because well, maybe, he, maybe he's also... I would love to see... It's like a karmic thing, or kind of like, hey, man, don't don't fuck what's not broken. Not yeah. a bad metaphor. Don't fuck with... Well, don't fix what's not... Don't fuck what's not broken. <laughs> it's, 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 not, not, it's not a fortune. It's not that I don't even. care about it. It's not that I don't care about it. I'm just uncomfortable no, I, I watching myself. Just, maybe he's a like, uh, he sees himself, he'll be like, oh, I don't want to do that. Yeah, dude, I don't want to break any I illusion I might have of having enjoyed it. Like, I'm afraid to see it and go, oh, my God, you should be fucking executed. I didn't think exactly. you... Yeah, no, I didn't think that at all, Jimmy. Like videotape, videotaping yourself having sex, and you're like, hey, this will be fun, but you look at it, you're like, oh, my oh, God. Dude, I did that with my girlfriend. It looked like she was fucking a fish. I'm like, this is... Dis <laughs> I'm like, how do you fuck me? It was so uncomfortable to watch. <laughs> my big, stupid stomach. and It really was humiliating. I can never do that again. Totally. That's cock awesome. only. My cock looks good on film. So sh <laughs> should we do some Mel Gibson? Mel Gibson, how long is the yeah, tape? Man, I want to hear. I want to hear. A few minutes. Let's get Let's right into it. it. Tape number six, just released from Radar Online. Steve, if I never seen you clear out so fast as when I said I'd pull the plug on your fucking elastic bullshit. You said you pulled the plug. The today was You've told me a hundred times you're going to pull a plug, no, and I'm you will. I know, and I don't give a damn. I'm just saving my child's life because you are a monster. That's all. You're a monster. Monster. Okay, you're yelling now. Cause... Okay. See right, pl plug right there. Every time she makes a point, I love Mel. He's like, fuck it. Oh, no, so now you're angry, huh? Like he won't acknowledge <laughs> her point. Yeah, She's accusing him of being cheese. 
<laughs> Could you wow. imagine? Because you're so used to in your real life being cast as the hero. He probably has fundamentally lacks the gene to be able to be like you're right. I am a monster. Because his whole life he's been told these heroes like, no, that I'm not a great. monster. I fight monsters. I'm Mad Max. He's you're fucking a yeah, Braveheart, motherfucker. So okay. <laughs> Sorry. You are a complete monster. You don't give a damn about the fucking career which you spend money on. Not me. I never asked you to do that. Ever. You fucking bitch. You ask me for money all the time. And you've had my money to the tune of hundreds of thousands of dollars. So don't you say you didn't ask for it. You asked for every penny. I don't have you... anything. And I've don't signed the paper. I've signed. I've signed the paper that enables me to get... Oh. I can't get anything from you ever, nor can I ask of anything. I've signed the paper. See, Kevin, we've taken the approach on this show that it's just pure comedy. I'm sorry. It's wonderful. It's, it's hilarious. It's so strange, man. Like, yeah. I've never felt that angry at anybody. Not even like at Southwest, I was never that angry. <laughs> you fucking cunt didn't give me a seat! Dude, I've never been in a relationship where this hasn't happened. Every relationship I'm in, these arguments wind up happening. <laughs> That's it. There's never any physical threats. It's never like that. But it's like, you fucking pig, you piece of shit. It just gets so ugly. I, I, maybe it's just that I could never, in good conscience call anybody else a pig you know what i'm saying like i just don't know what it's like to be like that angry to the point where you're like you fucking pig he sounds like a, like the like a villainous version of mel gibson you know what yeah I'm saying? Like, yeah almost like from superman 3 where superman 3 gets drunk and he fights himself <laughs> and, shit. and he's got like five o'clock shadow that's like the the bad Bad kryptonite Mel Gibson. Is this is like. evil Mel Gibson. I like the, the cadence he gets on his voice when he's doing yeah. something like this. You fucking cunt. That, that is just like uh, angry mm -hmm. it's fucking. It's the best performance he's given since Braveheart. It really is. Wonderful. It shows true emotion. It's all over the map. And you, you start, I mean, even though it's like so hate-filled, the passion, the vitriol with which it's delivered, yeah. you sit there going like, now I know why he's a convincing actor. Yeah. <laughs> yeah you sit okay, there going, maybe she is all those things. How dare <laughs> she take hundreds of thousands of dollars? <laughs> <laughs> More Mel. I have signed the paper. I don't want anything from you. I don't have anything. She's... She's... She certainly. I that child. She certainly. Easily. I'm sorry. You will not have this child. Mel, you're imbalanced. There's something wrong with you. You need medication. Oh, you shut up. You, fucking you cannot raise this child with this symptoms. What? You're acting as a crazy man what? right now. And you have been for many, many months. And you hit me and you hit her whilst she was in my hands. Mel, you are losing your mind. You need medication. You need a fucking kick up the ass for being a bitch, cunt, gold digging whore. <laughs> <laughs> a kick up the. She says you need medication. He says she needs a kick up the ass for being a bitch, cunt, gold digging whore. Well, and I stopped it. That was only half, half of what he was wow. saying. It's almost like he's like. Nine or eleven years old. Yep. Yeah, yeah. His comebacks are very immature. Mm -hmm. Very immature and very just like this will do it. It's all about being naughty and dirty. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> Got the ass for being a bitch, cunt, gold digging whore with a pussy son. And I want my child, and no one will believe. A pussy son. Wait, wait, wait. Did you say a pussy? A son? pussy son. Yep. Uh, it seems she has a son. Through um, uh, uh, another guy. Timothy what Dalton. Timothy that, was a, Dalton. A, that was a knock at, at the sun and a, also a knock at the worst James Bond ever because he just called <laughs> Timothy Dalton's kid a fucking oh, sissy. Oh, pussy. Oh, this is You're fucking pussy amazing. Son. He had a kid with, uh, wow. She had a kid with Timothy, Timothy Dalton. Dalton. He's, a, he's insulting Timothy Dalton's kid? Yeah. I believe so. So James Bond and Martin Riggs could face off finally. They finally could. <laughs> this is what we've been waiting for. It's like aliens versus predators. <laughs> <laughs> and no uh, believe. So fuck you. And I'm not giving you my house. And you can rot. Unless you crawl back, suck my cock, and say you're sorry in that order. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the greatest in 
in that order. He actually <laughs> said in that order. Oh, I love him. Because I was thinking it as he was saying it. <laughs> thinking in that order. <laughs> Dude, he wants her back, though, when he's still yelling at her. He's saying. Yeah. Yeah. He wants her back. This is yeah. all. This, that's why he's. Mm. He's. Uh, just uh, just under his terms. <laughs> yes, she has to come crawling back, suck his cock, and then say, I'm sorry. You imagine like the second time that he's referenced the cock sucking? No, oh, many 500. times. He loves saying, suck my cock. It's, but you could tell, like, for him, it's a, it's not... Some people enjoy getting a blowjob because it feels good. This dude does it because it hurts people and it's a thing of power. Yeah, yeah. yes, he's absolutely using it as a uh, thing of power and uh, the, degradation. Oral like a weapon, man. Yeah. yeah, that's a great thing though. Without being mad, like mm. if he had, if if he just had his head sex in a sexy way. Crawl to me, <laughs> suck my dick, mm. and I'll say you're sorry. Say you're and she's just like sorry. I, it's like uh, he didn't need the violent, the the, the that, evil of it. It's in a just whole other like, context, that's a completely oh, different that's just thing. Yeah, delicious, yeah. actually. Yeah. Yeah. It's, I, uh, all about, it's all about delivery, man. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> I backed up. We got to hear that again. Yeah. To my house, and you can rot unless you crawl back, suck my cock, and say you're sorry in that order. Do you understand me? You fucking offend my fucking maleness, my masculinity, my being, my soul. And you call me a sinner. You're a fucking moving violation. If you get raped, it's your fault for sure. Showing off your fake tits. <laughs> some special deal? Are you crazy? How much they cost those fakers? Are you crazy? Those fakers! <laughs> those, fakers. <laughs> those fakers! How do they call those What the fake? fuck is wrong with thank God she didn't get. Thank God she didn't get two nigs. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> Wow. <laughs> uh, Mel Gibson has lost his fucking mind. Uh, Mel's crazy, a... man. It's just beyond crazy. It's just, uh, it, it, it literally sounds like a scene out of a movie. Like, who knew that that somebody who is so in the public eye, I mean, maybe not so much anymore, but maybe even more so now, yeah. would ever, ever lose their temper like that in a world, in a digital world, yes. where everybody has a recording device. Has some now. way to record. Yeah, it's not like the old days where, hey, I'll go to Radio Shack and get that suction cup thing and yeah, put it on the, my phone. The big bulky tape recorder under yeah. your shirt, you dumb. You dumb. <laughs> yeah. But now it's just like, she doesn't even have to leave her house to bring this man down. Nope. Yeah, she could stay inside, just put it out on, on the computer, and she's wow. done. Oof. Are you crazy? Are you crazy? <laughs> I think Kevin loves that one. I love, I love that. How he, I love how he swallows fakers. How much they cost us? Fakers. Those, Those fakers. Fakers. I've never heard him called fakers before. Yeah. We might have to start using yeah, that one. Again, he sounds like he's 11. He's just making words up. Yeah. Those yeah. Fakers. <laughs> Your boobies are fakers. Boobies. <laughs> I'm just going to say that. Are those real or fakers? fakers? Like any of the stripper whores that come in here. He's also like, he's all about authenticity because he's constantly raking her over the coals for these fakers of hers. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yep. Doesn't, doesn't he likes like those. Them. Very natural, man. I, loves... can't I can't figure out whether he's a boob man or not. I think he likes those nice, heavy, natural Aussie tits, you know? I think no matter what she had, he hates it. <laughs> yeah, that's true. <laughs> he's it was real. Like, yeah, it was real. Yeah. Bitch, put bags in your titties, you stinking whore. <laughs> They're too real. <laughs> <laughs> Why is your pussy wet? Let it dry. Those fakers better come crawling back to me and suck my dick in that order. <laughs> in that order. <laughs> Good God Almighty. They cost those fakers. Are you crazy? <laughs> you complain about mastitis? They're fake, baby. Come on, you got little bladders in there. You think I'm an idiot? Hold on one sec. Okay. Did you hear the delivery of, they're fake, baby. There's almost concern in that. Yeah, yeah. yeah he's... Like, you're like, you're not thinking. Everyone's looking at you, baby. Come on, baby. You're Come on, right. baby. Well, he cursed her He cursed her out for feeding, um, titty-feeding their kid with the fake tits. Like, he called them, uh, you know, antibodies or That's you're, right. you're yeah, full of disgusting things in yeah, your body. Yeah, yeah. He's not yeah. done with her. He's not done with her. He wants her back. Yeah, not now he probably doesn't, but when well, he, this call true. When this call happens. Yeah. Can we hear their fake baby again? Do you want to hear that? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, because that's like... I don't know where it was. Hold on. It was like a thing, 10 seconds before. No, I'll go back to here. It's all good. Like they're some special deal? Are you crazy? How much did they cost those fakers? Are you crazy? <laughs> you complain about mastitis? They're fake, baby. Come on, you got little 
bladder's in there. You think I'm an idiot? Steve Bladder? Have you said everything? I said nothing! <laughs> 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 It's like watching somebody's worst audition ever. <laughs> We're not supposed to see this. No, no, no. I said nothing. nothing. Like, nothing he's saying makes sense anymore. No. No. He's just mad and hurt. He's just fighting. He's just swinging, dude. He's yep. been rope-a-doped. This is like a guy that we, we all watched and... and you just never you keep expecting him at any minute to start going, woo, 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 and it turns out it's an undercover ploy to catch some uh, Christmas tree yeah. salesman. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> but no, it's just he continues unabated with that. This hate. is the real guy. This dude don't like ladies at all. This is not Mad Max. He's this got this great real guy. comedic timing, though. Wonderful. Yeah. He Fantastic. does, right? He does. I mean, but that's why he worked for so long. I, one of my favorite Simpsons episodes of all time was the Mel Gibson one. He's charming when he wants to be. <laughs> yeah, like in this tape. <laughs> I love it. This is my favorite thing. Nothing. You need to say a lot to assuage my insanity because you made me this way. I didn't make you this way. You fucking did so. You were born this way. And yeah. you yell and scream and threaten everybody around you. Everybody's pussyfitting around you because they'll scared shitless out of you. But you, Until you I pain. You're paying them money, and they will never tell you the truth. They will never tell you the truth, who you are, because you're paying them money. Inclusive of your psychiatrists, who should send you to a neurologist because you are imbalanced, and you need medication, and he's just taking your money. What are you, a fucking expert? Yes. You are completely off your mind. I've never seen anybody like this. You have a schizophrenia. I hate this bitch, man. Yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. Patrice is, I hate this bitch. Patrice hates And I realize bitch. why he keeps saying what. It's like, at first, that digga, that gugga, booga is beautiful and sexy. <laughs> now it's like, what? What did you say? Cause not, because you know what? I think that's be, that started as the insults. At one point, he was mad, and I think that was the first time he ever was, was she goes, man, if it give me, give me, gooba, like fucking locker. And then, <laughs> and then he goes, what? The fuck do you just say? What? And, and, and now what? he has to what? listen to this. He loves that. But it's just like she sounds half retarded. But she's she's foreign and she's trying to use big words. And it's just like, why don't you talk <laughs> wow. like a fucking idiot the way you are? And like, stop trying to say, you need to neurologist. Spell it, you motherfucker. <laughs> say electronicus or something, you dumb bitch. Stop using the actual word. He, she, Holy shit. He, she, he loves her, and he was driven to hatred, and mm -hmm. he's out of control. But I hate this bitch. She's yeah. annoying. She is right about one thing. You're paying people, they're not going to tell you the truth. That, that actually stopped them. And he got him mad. They're all kinds. Then she goes, no, you're paying them. But she's saying that to enrage him. She, but he's he, aware. He said they're yeah. all using them. Yeah. He knows everyone around him is using them. She's trying to push buttons. It's just Yeah, because she knows she's recording this whole thing. It's ridiculous. Uh, yeah, but the thing is, it's like, uh, no matter how, quote, unquote, bad she is, she's... She looks like uh, like like the poor fallen woman, like oh, the Virgin yeah. Mary mm -hmm. compared to the screaming lunatic on the phone. Like, do you know how bad you have to be to make the gold digging, younger Russian uh, house house ruining bride look good? Yeah, it's true. Like she's coming out of this fucking looking like everyone's gonna be like, wow, I feel sorry for you, Oksana. Yeah, <laughs> true. Yeah. But they all every every true. every person feels sorry for. That that person's girl, if they don't know the whole situation, life. like in in context, you can you can kind of pull that somehow. Like I know what it seems like face value, but it's three sides of every story. It's only two sides now. Now the truth somehow has to come out because you're hearing her setting him up on the phone, and she's playing off of the. She's just. Rubbing a pussy to how much he's playing into this. <laughs> but where's his tapes of her going, Mel, I shit in your food. Mel, well, sure. I, I don't wash your baby. Yeah, she's I, not going to say it. Mel, fuck your mother. That's a great point. She's not going to say anything. To, you know, it's, come uh, on, she's uh, setting uh, them up. I mean, fuck it to the victor goes to spoils. Of course she's not going to incriminate herself. Yeah, right. that's fuck what I'm saying. Is fucking smart enough to pull out the tape recorder? Fuck him, I will be. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we got one more minute here. Frenia. Because you're born like this, my dear. 
You are so spoiled. You have biggest no, ego, and you let yourself you roll. Hurt me too badly. My God, what an ego! Oh. Nobody would dare <laughs> tell you that. You're paying the money for God's sake. She's fucking up. What? Mm -hmm. Nobody will tell yeah, you that. that you're paying the money. Oh, like you, huh? <laughs> I don't need a. I don't need anything from you. Okay, I will disappear from oh, your no, life no, just I like I came in. Your fucking credit card, you callous cunt. You never <laughs> even say fucking thank you. Yes, I have many times. I say thank you every five goddamn minutes. <laughs> <laughs> Another great line. <laughs> I used to say thank you every five well, goddamn minutes. And they're both minutes. fucking full of yeah, shit because yeah, neither yeah. one of them are going anywhere. No. Like. Mel wants her to say thank you every five every minutes. Every five <laughs> minutes. That sounds logical, right? Yeah, man, that's, that's how you build trust and love. <laughs> Every five minutes, there should be a thank uh, you coming thank from you. her. <laughs> thank you, sir. I can't get enough of this, man. Fucking it's mouth. just amazing. I have many times. I say thank you every five goddamn minutes. And not call me mean. And not look at me sideways. Just suck my cock. <laughs> Oh my God, dude! Does anyone else hear Niedermeyer in these tapes? <laughs> yeah, he said you something hear, earlier. You hear a little Niedermeyer? Uh, right, right. I hear a little Niedermeyer. <laughs> <laughs> a little bit, a little bit. And, and I hear a little George Clooney. But You're that might a be a stretch. Goddamn disgrace! And tuck in those pajamas. To be fair, man, if you're gonna go out, like that's the way to go. Oh, yeah. Oh, hell yeah. He's well, hydrogen bombing it. I mean, he didn't know he was going out, but, like, if I'm Mel Gibson and I'm like, well, it's all outed now, it's like, well, it was a good death. You're going to die like Conan on the battlefield. <laughs> <laughs> He's fucking, this is him yelling freedom Last as one. his entrails. This is like the true story of Braveheart. <laughs> yes, his fucking entrails are just. It was called Hate Heart. <laughs> <laughs> Here's the last 20 seconds. Uh, Dad, <laughs> you fucking cunt whore, that's all you're good for. That's about all you're fucking good at. That's better than fucking music. You there? <laughs> that's it. Hey, you, th you there? You there? He's all mad. Wants to make sure she must, heard that one. Much better than fucking music. She fucking sucks music. cock better than music. He yeah. does bring up the sucking cock a lot, and then he actually right there said that's all you're good at. She must she, really be she good. She reeled him in. She did reel, she reeled him in. She put the mash on that fucking, mm -hmm. his, his wanker. Yeah. <laughs> he well, fucking, again. she blew him senseless. <laughs> blew the brains what out a of him. great head she gives, oh. boy. She snakes her tongue under, she licks the vein under the dick while moving the mouth on the head. <laughs> she sucks cock. I bet his ex-wife, God love her soul, gave horrible head. Oh. And she would always try to talk. The kids need us while she yeah. had his dick in her mouth. Yeah. She and was then awful. this one comes along, she's just working some KGB magic. Yeah, this one leaves shit in the diapers <laughs> until Mel comes. Oh. <laughs> sucks balls, gags. She's a yeah. Trooper, oh, yeah. Spitz, oh, yeah. rumor what has a it she might be going back to the old one. And Timothy leave. Dalton? Uh, no, no, I mean uh, he might be going back to his ex-wife. Well, because because she's a just, soldier, just, she's in his right. corner, dude, and, to uh, save his career. And uh, yeah, and no, get, she's getting out of the United States. She loves him. No, no, no. But I mean that's a career saver too. Like, look, action. he fucked up. They he might, left his wife, and he went crazy. Like he went he back to her. But you know what? I don't think she's coming to court. It, you know, as a as a trick, man. That that woman, Mad is Max his, Four, that's his fucking wife, Mad Max man. Four. That's what he needs. Yeah, Mad Max Four. There you go. That's all. <laughs> he's done. That, that, a, the villain is help. a is a young Russian bitch. Yeah, and he's just so he just missing a hand. That'd be fucking... great. He writes and fucking directs, produces a movie where a Russian girl is just the biggest cunt, <laughs> you uh, and he's just yelling at her, but he's the sympathetic character. Oh, she's just fucking sitting there with one of those. Those apocalyptic cars that they build themselves, <laughs> just <laughs> with a giant purse that just fucking, <laughs> she just takes money from vacuums everybody. Vacuums his money, <laughs> just vacuums his money away. Goes around sucking dick, all the fuck, all her soldiers of guys whose dick she sucked, <laughs> and hypnotize them and shit, and fucking, <laughs> he's just like, I'm not going to fall for you, cunt. A room full yeah. of children not being taken care of. <laughs> and he drives a car, it's made out of like, uh, gold bullions. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Chip. So, Kevin, Jesus. um... <laughs> yeah. I was just scripting my, uh, what, what I figured the next Mel Gibson movie would be called Brave Whore. <laughs> Brave Whore? It's probably out there as a porno. I wouldn't doubt it. When's your birthday, Kevin? August 2nd, sir. Okay, mine's the 19th.
We're about to get the birthday party started that everybody had planned for me. Yeah, we we are, uh, Jimmy. But you have to leave for L.A. No, I don't actually. Until I, I forgot my flight is not what I thought it was. All right, Steve, bring the what? cake down. Yay. Cake. Where's the cake? cake? Steve, bring the cake down now for Jimmy. I didn't have a party. It's never been cake. No. No. No cake? No oh, cake. I thought there was going to be ice cream Well, cake. maybe Steve could explain why there's no birthday cake for Jimmy. I ate it. Did he? Did he, did he? We, me? I, I mean, uh, we both got birthday cakes on our birthdays. Here comes Steve to explain, I'm sure. Well, I was going to. As he lumbers down the hall taking was his sweet old time. Was yesterday or forthcoming? No. Oh, it's July 19th. His birthday. Happy birthday, man. Thank you, buddy. His birthday was yesterday, but he wasn't here until the last hour of the show. We didn't know he was going to be here I flew yesterday. Home. But we all knew he was going to be here today, so obviously the birthday cake is about to enter the studio. Yes. Right, uh, Steve? Uh, no, there's no birthday cake this year. I'm sorry, Jimmy. Why? Um, wasn't in the budget. Yeah, <laughs> you want, you want, you want, you want the, the, the truth. Budget. Yeah, it's been very hard time expensing cake. shit lately. It's a, a cake, fucking cake. For the love of fuck. Yeah. But wait, now what happened? What was the process you wanted? I like to how you got him shell shocked to the point where he's doing an impression of himself. He doesn't. <laughs> that wasn't an he, impression. Steve wasn't? doesn't even know yeah. how to do you, him. You, you don't even know who you are. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm I noticed that a long time ago. I fucking really I noticed that a long time ago. Oh, he does impressions of himself. It doesn't really matter what I say. It's always wrong. So I just have to walk in. Oh, you got him bumbling. But Steve, that's not even a joke. Patrice is on to something. I'm. He came in. He's just like. Who's the real Steve? Yeah, he just is. So well, the real, the real Steve kneeled down. Oh, okay. Jesus. Steve just sat down. This yeah. could be a. All right, so Steve, what? what no, yeah, what exactly. I Jimmy's stopped birthday. even yeah. trying to expense shit a while ago because the blanket answer is no. Did we uh, all get. Right, so you didn't try. Just say you didn't try. Okay. I didn't try because I'm <laughs> sick of trying and hearing no. So did, I didn't try. What about. We the, had something. Hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on. I'm not done. Calm we down. had He's something. Shaking. Calm, take what, a deep what, breath. I think this is. I don't want you to say something. You're getting all gives in here. I'm on your side, Steve. I see him. He's sweating. Shake it. Hold on, man. Yeah. Kevin, hold on. So, don't you make this. Fucking cunt. Yes. Let me tell you something. What he just did, man. I'm telling you, he talked to himself, and he's not going to take. Just calm right. down, Steve. Can we get, okay. can we get Sam down. in here, though? He's going to enjoy this. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> Sam loves this. Wait, stuff. boys, can I jump off go to the bathroom? All right, buddy. Oh, yes. Really? Oh. Yeah, I'll keep talking. I'll come okay. Back. Oh, all right. Yeah. Guys, <laughs> okay. right. Steve. Uh, Steve. Um, shit, I completely derailed. Well, Steve, didn't I was we, say. Didn't we, I'll, I'll say this. Didn't we get a strawberry rhubarb pie yesterday? Um, or a couple days ago? Yeah, but that's like a, it was like a That fucking... could have been Jimmy's birthday fucking cake. Jimmy, did you want a $20 rhubarb pie for but, your birthday? But you could have got a $20 cake for him. I could have, yeah. But the normally, I pie, you get the cake for Jimmy. normally, I really was going out of the yeah. way with like hundred and something dollar so fucking expenses. What about the crumb cake? How about just an ice cream, cream cake? You they, wouldn't, they wouldn't have said no to that. No, they wouldn't have, but I was going over the top with, you know, no, the expensive ones. Cake. I'm so, sorry, Jimmy. What were you saying? We had something planned? What? I had, we had something lined up. The talent department was uh, working on a special color, but it fucking didn't happen because oh, well, certain oh, people don't boy. like to wake up early. But okay. I'm not going to say anything. Why? It's fine. Who was going to be I the person? I was supposed to call. Nope. <laughs> why can't you say it was? I don't, I don't, I don't mind that they didn't call. It's fine. Yeah, why can't you say the person? I'm not mad they didn't call. It's someone you work with, so I'm not going to fucking keep it. I'm not going to. Now it sounds like you're making it up. Yeah, you're. T <laughs> Somebody I work with. What are you talking about, Steve? Oh, Opie, Anthony. No. If, if, if the problem Kenny, was that he couldn't gee, get up take early, a, take one more guess. Colin. No. He's Kenny. Kenny. No. no. Uh, why would I listen to you? Uh, somebody <laughs> who I work with. Yeah. Um, that was good. Oh, call Leno. Uh huh. Oh, that's all right. I, I don't, he's got to tape the tonight show. I don't expect him to get up at 6 in the morning to call well, me. Well, work with? I thought you meant, like, work with yeah. somebody yeah. Yeah. here. Yeah, dude. No, I'm, I'm not, a, I don't he's not a, a colleague. Everybody's thinking. I'm thinking Bob Kelly. Yeah. yeah. Right. No. I'm thinking, yeah. oh, oh, Kenny. Oh, shit. Rich Voss. Yes, Robert De Niro. <laughs> right. When you have to wake up, when you tape when you tape a national TV show, you don't have to get up at 5.30 to call someone you're going to see in two weeks. To say happy birthday. Um, you know what my happy birthday present is? I'm on the show tomorrow. <laughs> That's the birthday present. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Happy birthday. Thank you. All right, well, yeah. it didn't happen, Jimmy. I don't know what to tell you. Just a little... been a birthday Steve, what, are, what are you today. still sure of? Like, when you come into this job. <laughs> <laughs> no, uh, you know, because you sons of you're bitches. Make, you're making it worse. Here, no, when, when you walk in, no when you walk you're in, it worse. and on. you're trying to, to oh, this uh, no, this is try and be confident, but what are you, what do you absolutely know? That, that you no do matter. well and no matter they 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 don't shake you in that. Um, you no, it's you know what it's it's different now. It's just a different mentality. It's no longer I. It's it's no longer a search for approval. It's just I walk in. And it's the beating will be to what degree? Ooh. No, do you see how you reversed it? That you've beat him into yeah into really. If this was Roots, <laughs> yeah. he he has come to the point where he did change his name. He is Toby. <laughs> he, you 
I know it's hard too because you, you feel the pressure. Because I can feel, I can feel these little sons of bitches. Look at Sam. Kunta just... Carlisi. <laughs> Kunta <Kunti> Carlisi. Yes, <laughs> I am Kunta Carlisi. <laughs> they cut off half totally my mouth. Kunta. Kunta Carlisi. Oh shit. I am not Toby. <laughs> yes. I lived in my I son's even... chicken sandwich. <laughs> oh. 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 Steve, calm down. Oh, no. I saw him. I used to have a rule oh. about not wanting to kill the hosts, but now. Oh. Steve, run. Just run. It's not going to get better. Jim, I, I will give you a five second head start. Why? Start running down because the Because you said my son. No, but it's not his son's son. It's in we the movie. Know. It was, we know. It was chicken we know. We know. Boundary and see you pictures of driven him insane. <laughs> <laughs> he, know, he now can't. The context of, of humor is now even love. He's in pain. Yeah, but you, I would say that even if you had no kids. Yeah, no, that. let's not talk about this. Yeah, thing it's called, just splinters from the glory hole. We all know. That's my we pain. All know. But it's just, you see. Get it? You, when's the last time you've been on vacation? Oh, oh God. You got my fucking Friday, six to the <laughs> Oh, oh, I'm on vacation now. Oh, my God. Oh, you fucking assholes. He, you, he, he's scared to leave for five I'm minutes. I'm a man of leisure. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, 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 Jesus. I used to get the see, shit man. kicked out of me for... Uh, I mistakenly took a lot of Mondays off. And then um, <laughs> since uh, yes, I have been eclipsed in the that. fucking day off department by several individuals. Ooh, ooh. Ooh. I'm not saying they shit. Names. No, 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 no. Wait, 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 Anyway, like, no. I'm Scott gonna... Peterson said he mistakenly killed his wife. Yes. It's like, no, you did it on purpose. Well, yeah, but in hindsight, that was a mistake. <laughs> Shit. But who eclipsed him? He said he was I'm, Dude, I'm not even going I... there, so I'll walk out of the room. You have to. Oh, no. Somebody, no. somebody dropped dime? We got it. No, we're asking I'm not, dude, it's not, no, I'm not gonna, gonna. I'm not going. I'm not even going to. Dude, somebody drop time. No, it's a legit question. No. We're on I will, the air. Because I, I can do it. I, I, I can do it on my own. Mondays. <laughs> I don't work Mondays. Those are my cum days. <laughs> uh, <laughs> no, Steve. No. <laughs> you just push, push, push. It's not gonna get answered. But it's a fair question. It is a fair question, and it's my prerogative to not answer. It's not. I answer it. I will answer it. You're the producer of the show. Yeah, and I can hate. But this is a, but this is something I can address and have addressed off the air. <laughs> Fuck off the. This is it's a radio show. If that's we're right. saying to you, come on, come who easy. takes more days? Yes. That's not a secret. It's it's not like saying somebody <laughs> told you to be personal. It, it's a legitimate. Po Everyone throws and I, you under the bus. And you stop trying to be the nice guy. You hate these fucking guys. No, so I say don't, something. No. Yes, you do. you do. And it's okay that you do. No, it's not okay because I have to. I have to try to be. Pardon but, but the pun, the, the bigger host, person. Can I, can, I oh, can I speak from a, a large? Can I speak from a large man's what point of view? Yes, please. I, I like to Instigate. speak from a, a oh, large okay. man's point of view. Yes, sir. Everyone here, okay, that teases him, other than the, the bosses, yeah. you guys, it, it's, uh, Eric, Eric, Travis, Danny, Sammy, smarmy little things <laughs> yeah. that. That, you know, when Danny says something smarmy, you go, yeah, yeah, you know what I like to do to cure your smarminess? Is press you against the wall and, and introduce you to, to madness. But they, they talk to him with that knowing that you can't touch him, that nanny, 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 smarmy <laughs> shit. Thank and you. And you want to put them through every wall just so they know, motherfucker, I'm not play. He has to play a game that he shouldn't have to play, which is smarm. Which is smart. smart. He can beat them all up on his own. And he has to deal with this little, this niddly so shit. got to come to physical altercation. But yes, see, so wait, stop, stop. No. But just understand that people who can be physical and you're made to feel like you're an asshole for thinking about it, don't, 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 don't diminish the fact that they, they know that he can't fuck. Stop it. He's, an, he's mentally capable of dealing with them with, on that level, but they all of them, 
are f- it's Valkyrie. But no, nah, but they, here's what he could they do. They are fucking on him. Here's what he could and do. And he wants to put a hole through one of their chests. Here's just what, one good when fucking I ask, time. Here's what Steve could do when I say who is taking days off. That's a legit question. It's tying into a point, and it's like it's part of the show to answer that. That's not. You, you can't not answer that. Like when you say we're teasing you for taking days off, someone has surpassed me. Who? I don't want to say. Well, that stops the bit. This is a fucking radio show. Right, Confess right. Tranny's blowing me. Jesus Christ. <laughs> who takes off more days? I don't think no. it's a bit to Steve. No, no it's more. not a bit. It's not a bit. But it's you something don't, I have you to deal with. I'm saying. I understand what you're saying, but it's, it's something radio I have show. to deal with. The listeners don't care what it is. It, All right. It's, okay, then you know, you know what? what? For in, 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 um, in the future, I won't bring up that shit. Because but you did. I have to, I have so to deal with this stuff behind the scenes. But then it sounds like you're lying on the air. No, I'm not I don't think you are either. I'm not lying. But who yeah. is it know, that Anthony, takes off more You would like, never say, and just thinking no. about what, how people approach this, you would never say to, like, Randy Couture, mm-hmm. is it come to blows? Like, you know what <laughs> Randy Couture is, exactly. is destruction. Yeah. But what a, when a guy who could be destruction is not it's like, really, you're going to... But well, I don't but have that type of relationship on, it's with a, Randy it's Couture. A, it's a, if I did, I, I feel then I would be able I, to just give him shit. And about that... F- I, I, I understand go back that. and forth, and he give really, me shit. It's, it's, it's Gulliver's kind of... It's, a, it's, a, it's yeah. just... You can... F- I, I, I'm telling you. Just, I mean, Danny, look. We, Dan, you got to be careful with Danny, where it's not careful because of him. It's like Because no one fears his, his dangerous intellect. No one's afraid of like Danny's <laughs> unthinking that he knows more. Jeez. No, no, no. I'm with that too because Danny, me and Danny changed. I, I feel I, I kind of go, hey, but that's it. it but he. Get, what happened? It, it started with that thing over at well, XM. Where's Danny? Hold on, well, he's got to be here. Yeah, he should. No, he, had, he had to leave for some family thing. Oh, oh okay. So, yeah. so what that, it happened over at XM where I go, wow, you really didn't. I like, asked him to to do that download, and he goes, oh, no, here he is. I asked him to do that download. But oh. but now I know how. See, I don't I don't work here. From that town, the it down never. But it but it wasn't me who stopped how we are. It was Danny. Danny's oh, Danny's very cold like that. So, but I I'm not invested in him like that. Where I work with him all the time. Mm-hmm. But I can tell the way he is. Like if you go, hey Danny, something you got to be careful because he he goes he huffs and he does <laughs> shit that dudes don't. Do oh Ooh. shit Ooh. when you're dealing with dudes, you, you understand? And it was like, oh well, it's like when you go, hey man, and it's like a <sighs> a sigh of you're annoying me or d-. like dudes don't deal like that. You don't do that. You don't fucking go. <sighs> I do. I do different things. Right, but you don't. But, but you but do it I as a dude. Dan, I see Danny as as a dude, but being able to push fucking buttons. D- like dudes crazy. don't push buttons. Well, they do. N- I've seen you. I've seen you go like this. But it's not a. It's not. It's not with a. With a. It's not a. It's a. It's a. It's an outwardly overt button push. It's not where you you go. Hey, could you do this or do it? You see the, the eye rolling. You see. What have I done to you? Mosh, oh. You've never. Done, you haven't done anything to me. It's like when we had that, that little thing over at XM. Over the computer, cha- the movie it thing? It changed. I'm telling you. I'm, I, but one That's thing I don't like thing. doing, I don't like arguing about what people both know to be the facts. We, It's not the same, but it's mm-hmm. fine. It's no resentment thing. It's just like you go, I don't I don't like to deal that with the fact. It was an inconsequential event, as I remember but it. But it wasn't. It was Danny it was on at the computer like he is now and stuff like that. And Patrice wanted to see a site. And Danny well, it was for it was for like a it was for like a a, a brand new movie thing and yeah. like I, it just that it was the found, look, that was the foundation it didn't look like a legit site. Yeah, where no, 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 that's not what made me. Please, please, I just didn't want to get my machine infected. Please understand that that I'm just wasn't to the listeners. that wasn't the reason. Yeah, that was the the thing that oh, you go. Symptom? That was the the beginning where you you notice something that you go, okay, for me to continue to, mm-hmm. be, to exist. You have to. I go, okay, this is I'm a because then it was one time you go, hey, hey Dan, and you, you you do it like that. Where, but when you have to deal with a guy, you know, on a level where you got to figure out what makes him tick, thing where it's like, oh, if I say this this way, it could turn. You just you just kind of go, hmm. I'm not going to deal with it. He has to deal with it every day, five days a week, from Travis and this fucking cocksucker who snitches on him. But you don't think him. Steve does things you like right. that, too, where you sit there and go, like, oh, I got to deal with Steve's idiosyncrasies? And, and, and when Jimmy I see, and when I Opie see one, and me? And- look at Ma. 
Mars. What the fuck is wrong with Mars? He's jerking no, off to this. We, we, we don't have much time left to say what's wrong with fucking Mars. <laughs> Mars is... Jesus, but I'm small, saying... He's Puerto Rican. Yeah. I, know, I know there's a lot of... Shop, but I have an affinity towards... Because coming here, you see, it is really no one's with Steve. Oh shit! Yeah. Nobody's on Steve's side. That's what. That's why I'm talking as a. I have an affinity for How that. How would you think that would happen? <laughs> I'm just asking. But that's that's circumstantial. Fuck that. I'm a big guy. I, I I know just because everybody is is on that on that page, that still doesn't make them. I don't go with that. I have to hear the whole thing. Steve is the lieutenant that the entire platoon wants to frag. They're fragging him. <laughs> but but <laughs> fucking, what, what, but uh, fucking cartoon. But, Face, he uh, takes every ooh. second. Oh, shit. He ooh. takes uh, what's his name? E Rock. E -Rock. E -Rock. E -Rock. E -Rock. E -Rock. Little fat face. E -E Who's yes. cartoon bird face? Yeah, uh, saying. Fucking no. Uh, fucking E Rock. Sam's <laughs> just standing here with a microphone, just interjecting like a bird on someone's shoulder. If if I saw this is what and this is coming from an outsider looking in. If I saw that they had the respect and fear of him as a guy who was their lieutenant, mm -hmm. and they fuck with him like that, exactly. they fuck with him like <laughs> a regular dude. They but, don't fuck with him like they don't snicker like what a dick. And then it's like you guys go oh, this dick. And but I go, how does that Man. happen? I don't know, but they don't give how him does that. It happen it's when no a lieutenant snarky. wants to get fragged. How does it happen? You why does Steve, why do why men don't wanna... they fucking like you? I don't fucking know. I wish I knew. I honestly wish I knew. This At this point, I have to just I have to just do my do my game. I'll just say because I don't want to go down a sinking always, ship. I mean, like when he's an asshole. Fuck Steve, but I just I want to see it. It's the lieutenant that marches his men around with turning the map, going where the fuck are we? <laughs> it's the lieutenant that marches his men through a minefield. It's the lieutenant that fucking <laughs> uh, delivers a fucking short round into another platoon. But all these that's guys say, saying, fuck you, lieutenant. Why... If he goes, come on, soldiers, let's go to this mindful, they go, suck my dick, you <laughs> fucking because, sissy. Because and they fucking ride him. Because ten other times, 20 of their buddies got blown up in the minefield. <laughs> Not these motherfuckers. <laughs> There's a lot of they Danny just get blown in the minefield. <laughs> <thing. laughs> Steve is scared to death of Danny. Like, get the fuck out of here, Steve. You brought up a lot of incompetent examples, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> I just want to acknowledge that. As soon as he walks in, as soon as he walks in, as soon as he walks in with anything, Steve's a faggot voice. Like, <laughs> yeah. I'm like, holy shit. Yeah, it yeah. is yes. funny, though. That's good no, radio. It's yeah. hilarious. That's good. Okay. Radio. Which is, is hilarious. Line, but Patrice, it's there hilarious. is a line. Yes. There is a line between what goes on when the mics are on and even when they're off during <laughs> spots. But, <laughs> like when the show's over and shit like that. So Steve is a douche. I, I just don't know him. No. I don't fucking. If I see Steve on the streets, I won't go, hey, yeah, it's high. Yes, she will. Yeah, she will. <laughs> Hello Something in the streets, I'm faggot. Not <laughs> Am I not very I'm courteous not to you that. off the air? How did you Extremely. even conceive a. <laughs> Now look, oh here's Steve's baby. How did you conceive a yeah. child being a flaming homosexual? Like, you, I, how did you make it be fucking in the ass? Yeah. Fucking a man See, in the ass. It's beautiful. It feels good. <laughs> it's beautiful. It's just I'm saying, as a big dude, you, you're playing with the dude from Rampage. He's a big dude. Steve is a big guy, man. And this little guy's fucking with him. In a, you're a big guy, I'm a little guy way, but you know you can't hit me. So it's like he has to be a little guy. He is physical. So it's like, stop fucking with him on that way. Because somebody could get fucked up. But the physical Talking thing, like uh, a black man. No, the physical thing doesn't matter. Yeah, it's it as, a, fair. as That's a fair. As a boss, as times they That's don't fair. fear him as a boss. Just a little. As a boss, they don't fear him. That's that. That's where the problem is. His size doesn't matter because you can't think that way when you're teasing each that's other. That's what I mean. Because you're not on the street, you're at work. No, it, at but work, as a boss, can't. they don't fear what I'm saying. That's Kenny knows as a fucking big, as a formidable, a formidable man, he has to behave in a non-physical mm. way. But he know when somebody fucks with him. <laughs> That he can be physical with to stop it all. But right. he wouldn't on the job. Like, I would never be afraid of Kenny hitting me at serious or hitting one of these guys. Kenny would, if he had to fill out paperwork, he would do it properly. Kenny would, would nail somebody in in the way that's work appropriate. That's he, he, also he, Kenny's job. No, no, no. But I'm, I'm saying, saying I'm talking it's not inside. Job, I'm saying I'm talking somebody. Somebody. Kenny wouldn't just beat the shit out of no, him like he'd want I'm, to. Right. But, but, but the want is what I'm saying. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, is that, sure. That's all, all right. you know, I'm just... 
Steve? Well, no. I don't know if I, I should Danny. be on Steve. I know I come every once in a while, but I'm just, I watch Steve crumble. Danny had a comment, too. He didn't I'll change sides Danny, in a second. Nothing. Danny's got to defend himself, too. He wanted, I know you want to just start it. I don't know. I mean, uh, between me and Patrice, I don't. I mean, I didn't think I was ever pushing your buttons in any way. No, you weren't. It's it's I actually I you know it's funny because it just came up the other day I was saying how things between me and you have been different for a while and actually I wanted to give you a call and talk about it off the air because me and Danny be do solid, the same. Right? It's really tight, but it's off the air. Yeah, it's off the air. <laughs> <laughs> what is this stuff? It, it wasn't. It was just like it could. It, as far as I'm, that's what I'm saying. As far as dude shit, right? I, as for me, me as an apology, saying an apology or taking one, the shit. Is done. I never don't accept an apology, and I and I want my apology to be accepted. You know, mm -hmm. It's just what, but I watch. It's like you. It's like these two motherfuckers as a dude when I'm looking, and somebody's trying to say sorry, and then still not <laughs> fucking cool. That's fucking strange on every level. It's just like, hey man, I'm sorry. And it's the and it's like, nope. This is a fucked up place. <clears throat> no work. It really if I is. Say sorry, dude. What a bunch of fucking psychopaths. <laughs> we can't even argue the point Patrice yeah. just made. Yeah. Yeah. No, I know. That's yeah. strange to me. Very as a accurate. dude, man. you just made but, a you just made a human point that we're not used to. But Patrice, we just we have no idea. And what that's I know it's about. radio. I know the radio I shit is you know. There's no Sam know. question. Uh, if you said sorry, <laughs> like I'm sorry for my behavior. I would expect the behavior not to repeat, right? Oh, 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 oh shit. shit. Is Damn. that the lieutenant? Fucking Sam. Let me tell you what Sergeant Fucking Barnes would have did if any of these guys. Oh, shit. Sergeant Barnes would have went deaf. Now, what do you all know about death? <laughs> and sliced one of their faces. Producing what do you know about producing? <laughs> death by chocolate. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Sorry, I apologize. Oh, shit. Steve, you want to say something? Oh, now no. look, I know you're all uh, love stunt brain. <laughs> <laughs> and I, lo I love VD. I know there's VD here. <laughs> <laughs> He's been fucked in the ass six times. <laughs> and still he keeps coming. <laughs> the only thing that can kill this show is Steve. <laughs> You were Wait, defending him. him. That's you the rules of funny. Him. <laughs> I'm a driving him. him. I want to drive him to suicide, but I don't mean it. It is right. it is funny. <laughs> but I'm Thank saying, you. just I'm trying to. Listen, we got. And get by the way, I must say, I got... love, I love Daddy. I miss like us. What it used just, to be. Just, yeah, yeah. But I just don't want to put myself like... in a spot to be mad at uh, at, a, at another man. Yeah, I, I don't like that shit. We used to have like half hour phone calls. Oh, that sounds sexy. It was nice. No, I missed that because it did change. Things aren't different. You know. I just and right, it is, all right, you guys right, got right, it. Right, one more thing, thing, one more thing. thing we gotta get I, out of here, for I, I, I just yeah, want to yeah. say that it's different for me because I don't want to put myself in a position mm -hmm. to be angry at another per, at a dude. Right. So right. I just go. All right. Let me. So you step let, off and let me leave. Step I off. think the thing is so small between you two, it could be fucking resolved in. Like a five minute phone. A walk to the elevator. Yeah, yeah. It, hey, it uh, really is. Uh, there's, there's too much there. You guys are a lot right. of fun. There's no way Kevin Smith is still on the. Of course not, man. <laughs> Kevin Smith <laughs> is the greatest. <laughs> that's, a, that's a big clap right there, man. That's a fucking huge ovation right there. <laughs> <laughs> he likes drama. That's beautiful. Like That's fucking rolls. beautiful, man. I, uh, goddamn thanks for uh, going with that one. I wasn't no sure you were still there. I, I step back for good radio, man. No, I know yeah. the All right, listen, Kevin is a trooper and a true friend of the radio show. Yes. Cop out on DVD and Blu-ray. He sold me on this because he's doing commentary. I never fucking watch commentary uh, stuff. I'm not that guy. But in this case, I'm definitely going to watch the uh, Kevin Smith co uh, commentary on Cop Out. So uh, come, to the, come to the birthday show. I'll give second the Count Basie yeah, Theater. let's do that, man. It's 732. Yeah, right come on down. 732-842-9000. Yeah. And uh, Kevin's website is View Askew. Uh, v i e w a s k e w dot com, and you know that Kevin Smith on Twitter, you got like a million and a half fucking followers. What are you up to, Kevin, on Twitter? Uh, One point six seven. Jeez. I've been hovering in the same area for like a while now. What I do is, like, I'll go on mad ra uh, tweeting rampages where you do like fifty tweets, and you lose like two thousand followers. And over the course of the next week, they come back. Yeah, they always come back. You lose them again when you start going on a rampage sure. again, like posting a lot. But yeah, they're still around. Right on, man. And I'll see you this week uh, at Comic Con. Yeah, Comic Con. Please find me, dude. 
All right, buddy. I'll talk to you soon. All right, we'll see you at your birthday party. Thanks, Kevin. Thanks, guys. Kevin Smith, everyone. That so That's hilarious. Funny. He was there through the whole time. Yeah, when he fucking... That's great. Yeah, I'm still here. <laughs> Where are you going to be, Patrice? I was hoping. I knew that would be a big oh, laugh. Miami this weekend. Miami this weekend. Miami, Miami and Prof. Prof for Patrice. And I'll be in Atlanta at the end of the month, and I guess I'm leaving. You know what? I got to say it. We should have fucking got Jimmy's cake. I don't know why we're depending on fucking Steve. We hey, should have we made sure you I had a cake today. deal, you, you bitch. I mean, it's not a good enough excuse that the company yeah. can't pay for a fucking birthday <laughs> cake. <laughs> yeah, it's not a big deal. Yeah, but I we're, you know what? I'll, 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 got my cake. It's better for me that I don't have any. I, but I'll take some blame. I got to take blame for that. We can't fucking... You know, bitch the company out because we, we couldn't afford a twenty dollar cake. She got Peter Chris. It's pretty such a, it's pretty fucking yeah, lame. It's such a man. fucking Could've ridiculous birthday number. Huh? Forty two. Yeah, doesn't need a cake. That is a dumb number. A cake for is a killing cake. him. We're 42. betting earlier. We could just cake is, <laughs> cake is killing him at forty two. Yeah, yeah, this is true. That's true. Up this right. fucking you know what? Fuck, fuck you cake. and fuck your cake. <laughs> You're right. Fuck cake. Patrice made a point there for sure. Dumb. And thanks to Steve and everybody else and. Yeah. <laughs> yes. You motherfucker. Yes. It's this so is a, stressful. It's a movie. This is a stressful area, man. That, it's a movie about the war about me. It was called Buffoon. <laughs> oh, no, no. Steve, run. Run, Steve. Run. Steve, run. Steve, run. Steve, run. Oh, he's going to kill you. Sweetie, I just want to... Oh, you know what pisses you off. Run, run. Oh, run. Uh, it's terrible. <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna we're gonna leave you with with Bob Kelly rapping, but, oh. but, but before you turn off your radio, don't because Derek took uh, the Bob Kelly rap and made it into something I do believe. So let's check this out. Ron and Fez next. Thank you. See you tomorrow. Patrice, thank you. Have fun. In